American Comics, My Dad is Batman or Lupi, Chapter 76 Skynet Supervision System. Please order the full version. Please customize it. Time seemed to stand still. The centipede warrior that Jason shot. It was like being hit by a speeding train. He was knocked out directly. Then it was attached to the steel wall of the factory building. Like a tomato thrown down from dozens of floors. The centipede inside the body transformed the metal and became extremely twisted. Like a twist, it was hung on the wall. The entire factory is filled with an atmosphere that is not suitable for children. Saw this scene. Even the centipede warrior, who has always been expressionless. There was a flash of fear in his eyes. They looked at each other. They all fell back. You want to run away now? Don't you think it's too late? A sinister smile appeared on Jason's face. His feet kicked the ground hard. A large hole of about half a meter was left on the ground. The whole person jumped out. That speed. It actually produced an afterimage in the air. A special operations team member standing in front of Jason. No one reacted. He was knocked directly out. The whole person turned into a blood mist. Due to high speed airflow, not even a trace was left on Jason. What followed was a one-sided massacre. The Hulk is one of the strongest in the Avengers. Although Jason has not reached the level of the Hulk now. But it is definitely definitely not something that a mere transformation warrior can contend with. This team of AIM special forces didn't even leave any trace on Jason, except for the clothes being a little tattered. There wasn't even a scratch on him. Wait until the massacre is over. Jason looked at the scene that looked like a surer field. A wry smile appeared on his face. The gamma strengthening potion still had a certain impact on his mood. The moment he killed Selden, he felt a bloodlust. Plus he didn't deliberately limit it. This is what happened. If it were him before, he would never be able to do such a thing. Just beat people to death. It's really disgusting to blow it up. Just right. The armor sent by Skynet has arrived. Jason quickly went in and cleaned it. Each piece of steel armor has an independent internal circulation purification system. Tony Stark even said that he often peed in his suit. Although Jason doesn't have that strong taste. But it's still very good for cleaning. Skynet. Send me a set of clothes. Because of the graphite dust bomb situation. All the electronic equipment on his body was scrapped. Only now did I contact Skynet. Clothes and other things can only be picked up back home. Also, go ahead and bring out the Two-Face man inside. Jason patted his head and said. Two-Face's body is pretty good too. He survived a blow from Centipede Warrior. But the bones in his body were probably broken a lot. Now there is more air coming out and less air coming in. But for Jason. These are minor issues. Just Wayne Group, he can give Bruce Wayne a complete two-face. It's just that he can't cure his schizophrenia. Look at the factory hidden in the darkness behind you. Jason frowned. Skynet should destroy this factory, lest others use it to do bad things again. Below this factory, there is a complete white powder production line. Of course Jason couldn't let this kind of thing continue to exist. Finish these things. Jason was in no rush to go back. Instead, he put on the clothes brought back by Skynet, sitting on a piece of steel. Skynet. Activate internal surveillance mode. Track all Wayne Group employees. Internal Wayne Manor employees. Keep an eye on their whereabouts, Jason said in a deep voice. The exposure of this intelligence gave him a big wake-up call. There may be many spies within Wayne Group. Even his core technology can be obtained. This shows that there may be various spies in the core level of Wayne Group. But Jason wasn't surprised either. SHIELD is a secret service agency with very strict rules and regulations. Everything penetrated by Hydra is like a sieve. Even within SHIELD, Hydra's numbers are probably much better than those of SHIELD. Infiltrate their Wayne group. It was so easy. He had to check it carefully himself. Don't worry about the privacy of employees. Start comprehensive monitoring. After monitoring. All data will be deleted, Jason said helplessly. He was concerned about the privacy of his employees. Skynet does not have authority in many places. He is well aware of the dangers of artificial intelligence. So in many places, there is no authorization from him. Skynet cannot act on its own. Previously for the privacy rights of employees, he did not give Skynet authorization. It's completely gone now. Hydra's spies are very scary. Do not know when. Maybe he would stab him in the back. Must pick it quickly. Definitely. Skynet is not omnipotent, Hydra is also a very well organized organization. To some extent, the rigor of its system may be even superior to SHIELD. While conducting espionage activities, very experienced. In today's digital age, they may even use the most primitive way to convey information. That's not something Skynet can monitor. While monitoring existing operations, investigate the resumes of these employees. Since they are spies, they must have been trained. There will definitely be some traces of cobweb horses, Jason said with certainty. There are many employees who have worked at Wayne Industries for decades. These people will certainly not be able to find any clues in the short term. Only their resumes can be traced. No something is wrong, Skynet. Establish a laboratory safety mechanism. All personnel actions are documented. Directly physically disconnect the laboratory. A handful of network ports must go through your oversight. Enforce a strict employee classification system. Low-level employees cannot access high-level materials. As Jason spoke, he asked Skynet to record it. He talked about more than a hundred various rules and regulations. Lisa, moreover, 
Jason decided that these would all be supervised by Skynet. People will always have problems. People are not saints. There are always weaknesses. Even if you don't have it, your relatives and friends must have weaknesses. Hydra is an unscrupulous terrorist organization. As long as they can achieve the results they want, they will definitely use any means. He wants to fundamentally eliminate the impact of personnel. Leave the monitoring responsibilities to Skynet. In this way, Interference caused by personnel can be avoided to the greatest extent. Because he just found out from Skynet, I usually bring him food. The head maid who has worked at Wayne Manor for 30 years turned out to be from Hydra. This made Jason shudder. Fortunately, this person just stole the information in his hand. What if there is an assassination attempt on him? Order before body strengthening. He can be poisoned by any poison. It's too dangerous. Personnel cleaning is required. Chapter 77, Terrifying Modern Weapons. Please order the full version. Please customize it. The ancients said, once bitten, twice shy. Jason feels a little nervous now. Everyone around me wants to be a Hydra spy, although these spies can't kill him. But killing Bruce Wayne and Alfred may not be a big problem. Grandpa Alfred, you better not go out these days. I'm going to have Dr. Connors give you a shot of extremist potion. Is this necessary Jason? Alfred said with a frown. It's absolutely necessary. Bruce's identity could be exposed. After all, there are too many spies in the family. Thinking of this, Jason also shook his head. Wayne Group is doing fine. There are many spies. But it's irrelevant. They rarely go to Wayne Group. The technology in the company is not very advanced. The real danger is the people in the manor and the laboratory he established. Especially the biology laboratory. Because it was just established. One fifth of it was actually sand mixed in by various groups. Hydra, S-H-I-E-L-D, the Court of Owls and other biological groups. They are all here to steal technology. The servants inside the manor are even more threatening. According to the old man's torture, he extracted a confession. These 960 people have long been eyeing the Wayne group. In their opinion, this is a big fat meal. Special was the years when Bruce Wayne went to the mountains to train. The internal struggle within Wayne group has reached fever pitch. The agents of various interest groups were at loggerheads. If it were not for the uneven distribution of their interests, Wayne group has long since changed hands. Fortunately, the Wayne family's assets are relatively secretive, otherwise there would be more trouble. Jason said somewhat thankfully. The Wayne family is also considered an old family. Its origins date back to before the Revolutionary War. Such a huge family. The way it works is very complex. Through cross-holding, supporting agents, etc. The Wayne family runs a huge fortune. Wayne Group is just a small part of it. And Bruce Wayne is just a legacy. Even if he dies, the wealth will flow into the Wayne family bloodline. It's this way of being unrelated to Bruce Wayne. These riches were not discovered by the people of Hydra. It is also a blessing among misfortunes. Jason, I know this incident has had a great impact on you, CFCH. But it won't come to this. Alfred looked at Jason's attitude of trying to stab the sky. He said rather helplessly, retired from MI6 at a young age, then serve the Wayne family. All of a sudden, it's 50 or 60 years. As an old man half buried in the grave, he has seen true friendship and decisive betrayal. He didn't think it was a big problem to have a traitor in his family. He even knew that many people had problems. But it wasn't revealed. Just to send some wrong information through these people. A spy is sometimes a tool. Therefore, he didn't understand where Jason's panic came from. Seeing Alfred's disapproval, Jason sighed. Grandpa Alfred, you don't know how powerful the forces behind these people are. Jason sighed. Hydra is a global organization. Most of SHIELD has been infiltrated. Among the members of Congress, there are also many people from Hydra. Even within Hydra, there are also many people with special abilities. Not to mention, secret bases hidden around the world. This group of people even mastered nuclear weapons. Jason even feels that the Avengers are not as powerful as Hydra. If Hydra really wanted to banish the Avengers together, it would be very easy to beat them into semi-crippling form. Nuclear weapon. This is the most threatening weapon developed in the history of human civilization. So powerful, I'm afraid it's beyond ordinary people's imagination. World War II period. The two atomic bombs exploded in Fuso were only the smallest atomic bombs. It seems that it is impossible to get on the stage at all. An active bald eagle Ohio class nuclear submarine. The conventional bomb load is 24 Trident missiles with a range of 11,000 kilometers. Each missile can carry up to 14 nuclear warheads with a yield of 100,000 tons. If a war really breaks out, within a few minutes, one nuclear submarine can destroy 24 cities the size of a New York file. Such a nuclear submarine. The Bald Eagle Empire officially has 14 ships. The combined yield of these nuclear weapons is 1.4 billion tons. It is absolutely possible to use nuclear bombs to clean the surface of the earth! Exclamation mark. Not to mention, Bald Eagle's empire has the most powerful aircraft carrier fleet in the world. These aircraft carriers are also capable of launching nuclear weapons. The Avengers are really vulnerable in the face of this kind of force. Thor, the strongest Avengers. It can only block the fixed stars light head on. Just like that. 
He was also on the verge of death. The core explosion temperature of any nuclear weapon can exceed the core temperature of the sun by hundreds of times. With a high temperature of hundreds of millions of degrees, Thor might be melted instantly. In the Avengers, no one can resist nuclear weapons. Jason even felt that Thanos could not block such a powerful weapon. Definitely, this is a weapon that can kill a thousand enemies and damage itself by 800. Generally no one will use it. But Hydra is crazy. That's really not necessarily the case. If a nuclear weapon is actually launched, there is still a 10,000 chance that Jason will escape. As long as he is not in the core explosion range of the nuclear weapon, he will most likely survive. The people around him are really not sure. This is what worries Jason. Compared to the weak armies in the movie, the real military is much scarier. There are only those like the Ancient One, oh the North Thanos, who has mastered the infinite gems. It is possible to ignore the deterrence of nuclear weapons. Personal power can only be used more for assassination. Head-to-head -head confrontation. Unless you are the kind of strong person who can move a city distance instantly. Otherwise, no one is a match for the modern army. Jason felt that he had not reached that level. So when facing an organization like Hydra that may have mastered nuclear weapons. Be careful, Grandpa Alfred. Just listen to me this time. I won't harm you. As for the name of this organization, I can't tell you yet. The more people know about it, the more dangerous it is. Jason said with a tired tone. Alfred was a mature man. Naturally, I saw the heaviness in Jason's tone. I stopped asking immediately. Jason, don't worry, no matter what you do, I will support you. Alfred patted Jason on the shoulder and said seriously. Thank you for your trust, Grandpa Alfred. Jason said with a moved face. Dot. Chapter 78 The first meeting with Nick Fury. Please order the full version. Please customize it. Jason didn't stay in his labs for long. After talking to Alfred, Jason left. By the way, deal with all the spies you found. It's okay for ordinary commercial spies. He sent all the people sent by Hydra to the west. Finish dealing with these bad things. Jason just decided to do something he had wanted to do for a long time. Meet Nick Fury. The founder of Avengers and the director of SHIELD is a very legendary figure. He has not only seen things on Earth but also many aliens. Although Jason does not agree with some of Nick Fury's actions, it does not mean that he does not admire this man who has dedicated his life to the Earth. No matter what, everything he makes is to protect the Earth. It just so happened that in this regard, Jason felt that Nick Fury should have a lot in common with him. After all, Hydra is the enemy of the entire Earth. Put on the modified shadow battle armor. Jason flew towards New York quickly. The armor he wears has been specially modified. No fighting ability. But secret ability was developed with a twist. Combined with the optical invisible coating developed by Wayne Group's laboratory. Infiltration ability is very powerful. Plus Skynet's assistance. The entire SHIELD defense may be useless in front of him. He can easily sneak into Nick Fury's office. According to Skynet, Nick Fury was still in the office studying something at the moment. Soon, Jason arrived in New York. It flew directly over SHIELD's Delta Wing headquarters. Master. They have discovered you. Jason had not yet taken a closer look at the magnificent SHIELD headquarters building. Skynet's voice suddenly rang from beside his ears. What? So fast? Jason said a little depressed. He knows that SHIELD technology is very advanced. Various black technologies emerge in endlessly. The technology used in his armor is not very advanced. It's not an easy thing to escape SHIELD surveillance. Only. He didn't expect that. It was discovered as soon as it flew over someone else's house. Yes, young master. The other party has installed an ultrasonic detection device inside the base. Your mecha has no relevant hidden technology. Skynet's voice sounded inside the helmet. Jason was also a little helpless. There are thousands of detection technologies, and it is impossible for him to install them all on the armor. This is not realistic. Block their signal, let's go in. Jason shook his head, stopped looking at the scenery, and quietly entered the SHIELD headquarters. His real confidence in infiltrating was Skynet. Skynet is here. All SHIELD equipment is blind. The instrument spotted him, and the SHIELD employees couldn't see him either, as expected. Under the intervention of Skynet, there was no vigilance in the entire headquarters. Following Skynet's guidance, Jason soon arrived at Nick Fury's laboratory. Fortunately, all electronic locks are used here. Various security measures are also controlled by computers. It was effortless for Jason to sneak in here. Opening the door, Jason stepped directly in. I said, I don't want donuts. Nick Fury was in the office and said without raising his head. But soon, he discovered something was wrong. Although he heard the door open, he did not hear the footsteps. Subconsciously, it was like he was drawing a gun from its holster. Director Nick Fury, I wouldn't do this if I were you. A hoarse voice came to mind from beside him. Nick Fury suddenly froze on the spot. But soon, he calmed down. As an old fox, one of only a few level 10 agents of SHIELD, he has a very complicated experience. Have very good psychological quality. Who are you? Although he didn't know where the sound came from. Nick Fury asked in a deep voice. Nick Fury just finished speaking. Jason showed up. 
There were ripples in the air like ripples of water. Wearing a black armor and a mask, Jason stood in front of Nick Fury. Nick Fury's pupils shrank. I guess this person's identity 10,000 times in my mind, but I still can't figure out who he is. Able to sneak into his office without alerting SHIELD's defenses. Logically speaking, this is impossible. Even Captain America can't do this. Who are you? Nick Fury asked again in a deep voice. My identity is not important compared to Director Nick. I am just a nobody, dot 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 please give me flowers. If you must call me, you can call me Prophet. Prophet? Nick Fury pondered this title in his mind. According to his understanding of the world, he knows that there are indeed people with special abilities in this world. Some of them can predict the future to a certain extent, among them SHIELD, those who have such super ability. However, he didn't know if the person in front of him was really capable, still deceiving people. There was a lot of thought in his mind, but there was no change in Nick Fury's face. Instead, he spoke with a hint of sarcasm. I've never seen a prophet who was so sneaky that he didn't dare to see people, and he's wearing a mask. Zero. Jason didn't take it seriously when he heard Nick Fury's slightly provocative words. Director Nick, I'm just trying to avoid unnecessary trouble. SHIELD does not behave kindly towards people like us. Jason smiled and said. His purpose in saying this was to mislead Nick Fury. Make Nick Fury think he is a mutant or someone else with super abilities. Mislead his investigation direction. If you don't pose a threat to ordinary people, we at SHIELD will not take action at all. Nick Fury said in a deep voice. Yeah. Jason smiled meaningfully, non-committally. Nick Fury may have thought so and ordered so. However, in fact, SHIELD's approach is not necessarily the same. Many super ability people whose identities are known to God game will appear in Hydra's biological laboratory, plus, surveillance by originally SHIELD. The situation of super able people is not so good. Just listen to Nick Fury's words. There are many things that he himself does not know. However, Jason didn't mean to remind him and spoke directly. Okay, Director Nick. I think we should have established a certain amount of trust. Let's get down to business. I don't know when we established trust. Nick Fury retorted. The hand that was pressing on the drawer was removed. Jason knew all this through Skynet, with a bright smile on his face. Nick Fury is truly a talented and courageous person. Dot. Chapter 79 The Origin of Hydra Please order the full version. Please customize. Nick Fury is undoubtedly a very smart man. Before Jason enters his office, and after sitting in his office chair very relaxedly, he just knew it. The prophet in front of me. If he is not a fool, he is undoubtedly confident. Nick Fury doesn't think anyone can know his identity. What a fool. So he decided not to act trashly yet. See if you can ask me anything. Jason doesn't care what Nick Fury thinks. It would be a good thing to talk to him. He didn't come here to see the legendary Nick Fury. Instead, tell him the news about Hydra. Let Nick Fury deal with it early. The provincial Hydra people have time to give him trouble. Director Nick, you must be sorry why I am here. What I want to say is that darkness has begun to lurk in the shadows of the 400 world. Nick Fury heard Jason's words. There is no fluctuation in my heart. Even a little want to laugh. Similar words. He has not heard of a thousand. He has also heard of 800. Jason's is the lowest end. Are you going to tell me next? This shadow is related to our SHIELD, Nick Fury said with a slightly mocking tone. You're right. Jason nodded. I know you may not believe what I say. Then I'll bring some evidence, Jason said mysteriously. Nick Fury looked at Jason with a sneer on his face. Wait for Jason to speak. My eyes tell me. Director Nick should have been a very fond of cats a long time ago. But then, I don't know why. But there is no cat around you anymore. Through the mask. Jason's eyes stared at Nick Fury. I guess it has something to do with your other eye, right? Some kind of powerful creature left a deep mark on you. Jason's hoarse voice sounded in the office. Nick Fury's heart was filled with turmoil. How did he know? Nick Fury was a little surprised. The secret of his eyes, logically speaking. There should be only one earthling in the world who knows. However, that earthling is now in another galaxy far away. There's no way anyone else could know. This eye of his. It wasn't because I went out to do a mission that I was injured. Instead, he was scratched by an orange cat-like element devouring beast. From now on, he has always loved cats, but has never been exposed to a cat again. But he has never told anyone this secret, although the expression on Jason's face did not change when he saw Nick Fury. But he didn't speak again. He smiled and said, No need to be surprised, Director Nick. Since I call myself a prophet, I naturally have to have some skills, right? Don't worry. I won't reveal your secret. Can we get down to business now? Nick Fury quickly suppressed the fear in his heart. He looked at Jason blankly and said, Tell me what you want to say. Nick Fury sat up straight, with a serious expression on his face. No matter how the person in front of him learned his secret, whether it's divination or an intelligence channel that he doesn't know about, being able to say this proves that he is indeed capable. He wanted to hear what this man who called himself a prophet had to say. Seeing Nick Fury start to listen, 
Jason was relieved. I wonder if director Nick has ever heard of Hydra. Definitely. A notorious organization from World War II that served the Red Skull. Nick Fury said. Hydra. Who doesn't know? He even participated in the war to destroy Hydra. Hydra was destroyed decades ago. Mr. Prophet, what's the point of bringing this up? Nick Fury asked confused. What if I say? Hydra hasn't been destroyed yet, Jason said calmly, impossible, Nick Fury said flatly, impossible, why is it impossible, what makes director Nick so sure, Jason asked rhetorically, because I personally witnessed the destruction of Hydra, Nick Fury said coldly, he is actually much older than he appears on the surface, he was born as early as World War II, because of taking a medicine, he can always stay young, and in his youth, when SHIELD was first established, one of their main tasks, it is the remaining power that destroys Hydra, that's why he could say this with such certainty, Jason was unimpressed by Nick Fury's attitude, this is very normal, it's hard for ordinary people to imagine, like Nick Fury, it's hard to imagine the extent of Hydra's penetration, because long before the establishment of SHIELD, the people from Hydra have already joined in, it's amazing that they found out, he came here precisely to break Nick Fury's unrealistic ideas, I don't know, Director Nick. Do you know the origin of Hydra? Jason didn't speak directly, but asked. The origin of Hydra? Aren't they Nazi subordinates, created by Red Skull? Nick Fury asked strangely. For an organization that has been destroyed, no matter how cautious he is, he will not focus on this. Definitely not. Jason glanced at Nick Fury. The origins of Hydra are much earlier than you might think. Hydra was established as early as ancient Egypt. Nine families established this organization in order to worship the original gods. These nine families are the origin of the original nine heads of Hydra. Although so many years have passed, these families have not completely disappeared, and more smugglers are developing. Director Nick, what makes you think that such an organization is not as old as the Bald Eagle? What will be destroyed by your SHIELD? Jason looked up at 5.3 and asked. These are just your one-sided words, Nick Fury said with a cold face. He's not a fool. It's impossible for him to believe whatever Jason says, although he felt that what Jason said was not a lie. But he would have to verify it later before he could believe it. Except for himself. He didn't believe anyone. Maybe. But why don't you consult Miss Carter? I remember she should still be alive. Although she didn't know the truth of the matter, she had been fighting against Hydra back then. I believe she can give you some inspiration. Jason smiled and said, Peggy Carter, Captain America's object. He is also one of the founders of SHIELD. What she knows is very valuable. Dot. Chapter 80, Seeds of Doubt, Please Order in Full, Please Order in Full, Nick Fury is a very suspicious person, many years of agent career, coupled with the experience of interacting with the Skrulls, makes it difficult for him to trust others, except for himself, there is probably no one in the world who can truly trust him, even Captain Marvel, Nick Fury probably hides a lot from her, Jason didn't think so, Nick Fury trusts him the first time he meets him, so without revealing your identity, he could only hand over the clues about Hydra to Nick Fury and let him verify it himself. Director Nick, believe it or not, Hydra still exists. You can know this information as long as you investigate. I'll give you a few clues and you can investigate on your own. Jason glanced at Nick Fury and said, I remember the predecessor of SHIELD was the Strategic Hazard Intervention and Intelligence Logistics Division. When Miss Carter was working there, she captured many people from Hydra, including Dr. Zora, Red Skull's think tank, and Whitehall the leader of Hydra. Logically speaking, these people should still be in SHIELD's prison, right? Jason looked at Nick Fury and said, thanks to the superior legal system of capitalism, these heinous criminals were not tried and executed at that time. Instead he was sentenced to life imprisonment. After the establishment of SHIELD, these people should all be in SHIELD prisons. Nick Fury heard this, he frowned. Yes, there are these people in SHIELD's prison, think about it, Nick Fury didn't speak either, he knew all this, he even visited these Hydra people in person back then, now, these people should still be waiting to die in prison, Jason saw Nick Fury's very positive answer, a mocking smile appeared on his face, then director Nico, you'd better send your henchmen to investigate, see if these people are still in jail, although so many years have passed, these Hydra veterans should not have reached the age of death yet, hearing Jason's sarcastic voice, Nick Fury felt a surge in his heart. Okay, I'll check, Nick Fury said with a calm face. It doesn't matter whether what the person in front of you says is true or not. He must check these things out for himself. Jason saw Nick Fury's expression. Jason spoke again. Also, I have a little suggestion for director Nick Fury. Let your confidants investigate in secret first. Then let the regular SHIELD agents investigate. Maybe you will be surprised. Is that what you mean? Nick Fury felt a strong uneasiness in his heart. Asked in a deep voice. It doesn't make sense for me to tell you the answer now. And you won't believe it. I'll wait for you to investigate on your own. When the time comes, I believe you will find me on your own. Also, 
Let me kindly remind you, don't put too much faith in old friends you respect. The knife most likely came from his own back. Also, you'd better send someone you can trust to do this. After saying this, Jason's figure flickered. He disappeared directly into the seat out of thin air. After a while, a sound came out of thin air. By the way, if you want to contact me, just type the word profit into your computer. I can get your news. Looking forward to hearing from you. After the words fell. There was no sound in the entire office. Nick Fury looked at the empty office with a sinking face. The finger that was on a button on the drawer was also lowered. Since others can easily enter his office, the backup plan he prepared may not be useful. He simply gave up on the idea. Then he started to think deeply. Although he didn't trust Jason's words very much. But he is a suspicious man. Jason's words planted a deep seed in his heart. He couldn't help but think. What if what the so-called prophets say is true? If Hydra really still exists, so is the world still safe? If Hydra really penetrated, is it true that there are no Hydra people in S-H-I-E-L-D? The more I think about it, Nick Fury's heart became heavier and heavier. Jason uses conspiracy. As long as he said these words, Nick Fury can't help but suspect and investigate. And once he found a little cobweb horse race, he will pursue it. Then Hydra got into trouble. There was no time to look for him. Jason, who was still in the office, watched the expression on Nick Fury's dark face constantly changing. I kept snickering in my heart, after half a day. Nick Fury seemed to have made up his mind, said on the intercom, come up the hill. After saying that, Nick Fury put his hands in his hands and began to think deeply. Soon, Maria Hill walked in. Director Nick Fury, what's going on? I want you to go on a field mission, Nick Fury said in a deep voice. Me? Field service. Hill's tone was a little surprised, although she is a highly trained SHIELD agent, but she hasn't been on field duty for a long time. Instead, there is more paperwork. Because of her level, she is more suitable to do some confidential work at the headquarters. 437 Nick Fury puts him on the field. She really didn't expect it, after Black Widow defected to S-H-I-E-L-D. The word field service seems to have nothing to do with him anymore. Yes, I need you to go on a field trip. Nick Fury stared at Maria Hill with one eye. If we say inside S-H-I-E-L-D, the only person he could trust completely. Undoubtedly Maria Hill. As a specially trained ninth level agent, he admired Maria Hill very much, because she has her own independent thinking. Not all of his orders are obeyed. This kind of person is more reliable at this time. After coming back to his senses, Nick Fury spoke again. That's right. I need you to go to prison number three to meet a certain criminal. It would be best to talk to him. Nick Fury casually took out a piece of information and gave it to Hill agent. Hill just glanced at it. Yes, director Nick Fury. Although it was very unexpected, since Nick Fury said it, she would not refuse. After thinking about it, Hill turned around and left. Before he could move, Nick Fury spoke again. Wait, Hill. Anything else? Director Nick Fury. Hill looked at Nick Fury strangely. Nick Fury looked at Hill carefully with his one eye. It seems that Maria Hill is not reliable. Dot. Chapter 81 The Truth. Please order in full. Please customize. Nick Fury stared at Hill for a long time. Even Hill felt a little impatient. Nick Fury then spoke. This mission is just to cover. I need you to secretly check whether Dr. Zola and O.I. Hall, who are locked up in prison number 3, are still in prison. This file is temporarily archived as a CADA. No. Wait, Nick Fury suddenly remembered Jason's words. Then he changed his words. Don't file it for now, execute it secretly, and report back. Then write a mission file. Nick Fury glanced at Hill with one eye. Hill understood immediately. S-H-I-E-L-D is very well organized. After each agent returns from the field, you must write a task file and file it. These files are also divided into various levels. There are 10 levels in total, which is the highest level. The entire S-H-I-E-L-D. Level 10 Archive Only Deputy Ministers Nick Fury and Alexander Pierce have this authority. Nick Fury initially wanted to classify this mission as a Level 10. One can imagine how much he attaches importance to it. As for later, she was asked to write a fake profile. She was curious. What kind of secret is this mission? But as a well-trained agent, she knows what to ask and what not to ask. Hill nodded and left. Nick Fury watched Hill leave with his one eye. His eyes were filled with all kinds of thoughts. I thought about it for a long time, Nick Fury said in the voice again. Natasha Romanoff, come to my office. Soon, Jason is watching in the office. Then I saw the red-haired Black Widow walking in smartly. In S-H-I-E-L-D, Black Widow appears to be very serious. The whole person looked very heroic. Director Nick Fury, what do you want from me? Black Widow asked as she flipped her hair. Natasha Romanoff, there was a vicious case in RSHIELD prison recently. Someone escaped from prison. Vertical bar. This is completely unacceptable to us. These people may threaten the security of the world. Natasha Romanoff, I need you to patrol the 24 large prisons of SHIELD. Then investigate the situation inside the prison. Check the various personnel in the prison. Prevent this from happening. Remember, you only need to supervise. Let these prisons check themselves. 
Do you understand? Nick Fury glanced at her. Black Widow nodded. She naturally knows what Nick Fury means. She just needs to put some pressure on her. Let the people in these prisons handle the rest. Even Black Widow sleeps. Any level 6 agent can do this kind of thing. Nick Fury lets him go. I'm afraid it's just to show his attention. I think it was to intimidate the people in the prison. Thinking he understood Nick Fury's intention, Black Widow calmly entered. Nick Fury looked at Natasha Romanoff leaving. The expression on his face was not pretty. I thought about it for a long time. Nick Fury stood up and left the room. Jason also followed and left the base. He soon returned to his laboratory. A few days passed quickly. Jason has been following the news of Nick Fury through Skynet. After squatting for a few days, Skynet finally gave him the news. Hill is back on a mission. Jason was in his laboratory quickly. Watch the live broadcast. At the moment Hill has begun debriefing Nick Fury. Director Nick Fury, I went to prison number 1. 11. Contact was made with the target. And then, Hill reported for a long time. The character report was quickly completed. Then, Nick Fury clicked under his desk. The windows in the room changed color directly. Then Nick Fury said, Report the secret mission. No one can monitor it now. Hill took a deep breath and said, As you expected, after my secret investigation, Dr. Zola and Whitehall are no longer in prison 3. I looked into it. According to information from SHIELD, Dr. Zola was absorbed into SHIELD during the paperclip event. Beyond the identity of a criminal. But soon, Dr. Zola disappeared. No way to investigate. Heard that said. Nick Fury frowned. He had heard of the Paperclip Project. Although the Nazis committed unpardonable crimes during World War II. But under the Nazis. But it brings together many of the world's top scientists. So the Bald Eagle administration launched Project Paperclip. Absorb Nazi scientists into the Bald Eagle Empire. However. He didn't know that Dr. Zola was also among them. Like this extremely evil scientist. It should not be included in the absorption range. There must be something fishy in this. W continued. Nick Fury said with a serious face. Hill glanced at Nick Fury. Continued to speak. As for Whitehall. Based on my investigation. As early as the 1980s. He left prison on medical parole. Who signed the consent order. Nick Fury was born asked. Criminals like Whitehall. It would be impossible to release it without orders from the top brass of SHIELD. Even on medical parole. No way. It requires high level orders. He was curious about who signed the decree. Yes. Secretary Pierce. Hill said. This is impossible. Nick Fury's pupils shrank and he stood up from the chair. Then he quickly realized his gaff. Sat down. Are you indeed Secretary Alexander Pierce? That's right. It's an order signed by Commander Pierce himself. It still has the stamp on it. Lee ha ha. Hill said in a cold tone. It seems that this matter involving the top management of SHIELD has nothing to do with her. Hearing this, Nick Fury took a deep breath. After a long silence, Tuan asked with a glimmer of hope. Is Whitehall still within our control? In the second year of Whitehall's medical parole, we lost control of him. Hill spoke again. Hearing this, Nick Fury swayed. He recovered quickly. The expression on his face also returned to its usual indifference. Hill. This information is classified as SHIELD. Top secret. No one can leak it, including Secretary Pierce. Hill asked, looking at Nick Fury. Yes, including Minister Pierce's ring. Nick Fury took a deep breath and said, I understand, Director. Hill nodded and left Nick Fury's lab. Dot. Chapter 82 Talking Again. Please order the full version. Please customize it. Delta Wing Base. In Nick Fury's laboratory. The entire laboratory was filled with a depressing atmosphere. Nick Fury sat in his seat expressionless. But there was a depressing aura about him. Even Jason across the screen, the dog saw. I don't know how long I thought about it. Nick Fury turned on the computer. I typed a string of letters on the computer very decisively. Then, no response. After waiting for a few minutes, Nick Fury was about to close the computer. The computer finally had a picture. The prophet appears in the center of the video. It's just that the prophet at the moment looks a little messy for some reason. Jason is definitely messy. How could he have imagined that Nick Fury would be so decisive? Contact him directly on the computer. It took him a long time to change his clothes. It's just that Nick Fury didn't care about these details. After staring at Jason for a long time, he spoke. What is your purpose? It seems you have verified what I said. Tell me my purpose. Just think that I have a grudge against the Hydra people. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? Jason looked at Nick Fury calmly. The temperament of a magic stick was performed to the extreme by him. 257. Nick Fury looks at this mask. I don't know why. I feel a little irritable for no reason. Your prediction is not very accurate. Jason didn't take it seriously either. His understanding of Hydra all comes from the movies and TV series he watched in his previous life. It's pretty good to remember these things. Some errors and omissions are very normal. This is because his body has undergone strengthening. How else can anyone remember every scene in a movie? Of course he couldn't say that. Fudged. Prophecy is not as easy as you think. Director Nick. I can only see snippets of information. It's very normal for mistakes to happen. It's just that this is enough isn't it? Nick Fury was silent. Enough is indeed enough. He had been able to identify a few things. Even if you are not sure, 
you just need to test it out. He will be able to understand the truth of the matter. After a long silence, Nick Fury asked again. What else do you know? I know a lot of things. What do you want to ask? I don't think you should ask my opinion. I know that the power in your hands is much greater than what you show now. Isn't it? Jason tilted his head and looked at Nick Fury. The power in Nick Fury's hands is indeed powerful enough. He really wished he had called Captain Marvel. It is estimated that no one on Earth can deal with her except the Ancient One, like a superhero with her speed. No matter how powerful nuclear weapons are, they are useless, unless you have the intention of dying together. Otherwise, the nuclear weapon would not be able to hit Captain Marvel at all. If the assassination really starts, she can kill a bald eagle by herself. So Nick Fury is much more powerful than most people think. He is someone you absolutely cannot mess with. Hearing Jason's words. Nick Fury looked at him deeply. No, I think it's just the opposite, and I want to hear your opinion. Jason was dumbfounded when he heard this. What can I say? I just want you to help me deal with Hydra. After coughing, Jason said pretendingly. I can only tell you that the situation is much more serious than you think. But you still can't do it now. It can only cause a little trouble. Why? Nick Fury asked. A bigger shadow is still behind us. When the alien visitors arrive, the real shadow is born. Jason said mysteriously. He was talking about the next battle in New York and Thanos. Loki isn't a tough guy. He's just an unbalanced kid. The old yin be Thanos behind it is the most terrifying. For infinite gems, Thanos will definitely always be plotting against Earth. This is the really tricky thing. Even more angry, the two major Asgardians on the Earth are all in trouble at this time. CFDD. Odin lived to age. Ancient One played himself to death because he didn't want to change his destiny. Otherwise, how could a guy who couldn't even be beaten by Doctor Strange kill the Sorcerer Supreme Ancient One? It was these two who died. Thanos just started to walk from behind to the front desk. Before these things, Hydra is really just a small thing. He now tells Nick Fury. I just hope that he will go find trouble with Hydra and not let them cause trouble behind his back. Wait until Thanos is dealt with. Or maybe the strength in his hands is strong enough. He can then start solving Hydra's problems. It's not like he's really afraid of Hydra. He was so anxious that he directly found a place to freeze Alfred and Bruce Wayne. He just went out and started killing people. I thought about it in my mind for a long time. Nick Fury also spoke again. Can you be more specific? Frowning. He asked. Why are these people who predictability so talkative? Can't you just say it? Masfak. Jason naturally didn't know that Nick Fury was scolding him in his mind. Director Nick, this kind of ability does not come without a price. And if I say it, will you believe it? Jason gave Nick Fury a deep look. Nick Fury also took a breath. That's right. Even if Jason said it, he wouldn't believe it without investigation. Essentially, what Jason said makes sense. Then, the two fell into silence. Half a day later, Nick Fury spoke again. If I want to take action, where do you think I should take action? AIM, you should have heard of this organization. His scale is much bigger than you know. Jason spoke again. At the same time, I felt secretly happy. Let the AIM people give him trouble. If you don't give them some eye drops now, will it still be him? Upon hearing Jason's words, Nick Fury reacted immediately. Did you give me the last message? That's right. Jason admitted without hesitation. I think you should thank me, otherwise they might cause some trouble. Okay. I think you should get the news you want. I can only give you one last reminder. Be careful before taking action. Looking forward to meeting you next time, Director Yabara. After saying that, Jason hung up the communication directly. See the screen in front of you go off. Nick Fury said from the earphones. Have you traced the source of the signal? There wasn't any external signal. We didn't even detect a video coming in. We found no trace of intrusion on our computers. The technicians over there were also very surprised. His tone was full of anxiety. It's okay. Try your best to investigate. Nick Fury said something. Put down the headphones. Hands on. Nick Fury is once again in the shadows. Dot. Chapter 83 Space Carrier. Please order in full. Please customize. The plot characters have been approached. In extraction technology. Due to sensor authority. You can choose one of the following three technologies. Air and Sky Mothership Complete Database. Complete Quinjet Database. Optogenetic Control of Brain Neurons Technology. Jason was stunned when he saw the technology suddenly given by the system. Is Nick Fury so cool? Can't all of SHIELD's technology be extracted from him? Wouldn't that be developed? I need to make out with Nick Fury in the future. The idea of staying away from Nick Fury, an old bastard was suddenly put aside by Jason, fighting the risk of identity exposure. He will also go to Nick Fury's place more times in the future. Only Jason, who quickly made up his mind, became troubled again. What should he choose? Needless to say, the space carrier, probably the most embarrassing thing about SHIELD, aircraft carrier in the air. Although the aircraft carriers that do not form each other are a bit rubbish, they are very stealthy, unable to be locked by radar or optical. The only way to destroy it is to send out fighter jets or anti-aircraft guns. However, the space carrier is originally a large mothership. There were more than just fighter formations above. It also carries a nuclear warhead. It is definitely an invincible aerial killer inside the Earth. As for the Quinjet, 
it's not even close. But fast maneuvering and vertical takeoff and landing are also very good. After modification, it can even sail in space. As for the last three optogenetic technologies for controlling brain neurons, it is a technology that can erase human memory. It is also very black technology. So now Jason fell into melancholy again. He didn't know which one to choose. Gritting his teeth. Jason finally chose the space carrier. Follow the system description. This is a database in a field. Whether it's materials, engineering, or various designs, these are all included in the space carrier's database. With this information, he can instantly become an all-rounder. The latter two techniques are also good though. But after all, it is not as comprehensive as the technology here. Even so, Jason was still a little unwilling. It would be nice if I could pick two technologies. Unfortunately this is not possible. Forget it. Maybe I can still get it in the future. After comforting himself in his mind, Jason began to check out the technology he had obtained. He shook his somewhat swollen head. Jason quickly became happy. Harvest. The system provided more techniques than he imagined. It almost contains almost half of the technologies in human civilization. With this technology, Jason even felt that he could build an industrial system from scratch. There are so many things included in the helicarrier. This is simply the pearl of human civilization. It is nearly one third larger than the world's largest Ford class aircraft carrier. The total length is 427 meters and the width is 96 meters. It can be equipped with a maximum of more than 6,000 members. Due to the very high degree of automation, it is generally operated by only 3,000 people. Three sets of the world's most advanced A1B hydraulic nuclear fission reactors. Twelve largest turbocharged engines provide tens of millions of dollars. There are more than a hundred fighter jets of various types, six aircraft helicopter platforms, and six aircraft ejection platforms. It can carry nearly a hundred trident nuclear missiles. It can destroy a continent in an instant, except these, and conventional weapons. Twelve Sea Sparrow rocket launch nests and twelve Phalanx 20mm close combat artillery weapon systems. Six eight-seat NATO Sea Sparrow MK-29 anti-air missile launcher. The range is 20 kilometers and the speed is Mach 3. SPS-48 T3 dimensional air search radar, fire control system, electronic radar countermeasures fire control system, etc. And these are just for SHIE LD to use as an air base. Only equipped with basic weapons. If we really want to go to war, the firepower can be several times stronger. Basically, driving such a big killer ship, all countries on the earth except the five permanent members can be massacred. Look at the description in the information. Jason's mouth almost watered. With this thing, SHIE LD, he dared to go up and fight. Anyone can take on the Avengers. It's a pity that it can't be made now. Jason let out a long sigh before the construction of his Martian mining base was completed. Don't think about this thing. A large international organization like SHIELD spent 50 billion US dollars to build this thing. It took 50 or 60 thousand people several years to build it. If he wanted to create it himself, it would be extremely difficult. The way in family has money. Dot please give me flowers. But let's not talk about spending so much money whether they can do business for the N family. The point is there are some things money can't buy. Aviation metals, rare earths, precious metals and other special materials. He can buy it. But this thing is measured in tons on the space carrier. Let's not talk about whether he will buy it or not. The key is that after he bought it, SHIELD came to his door the next day. It seems that we can only restore some of the above technologies first, then transform it. Jason licked his lips. The technology on the space carrier definitely represents the most advanced technology in the world. Not to mention the system bonuses, but many technologies are not available. The arc reactor he mastered is one of them. Zero. The energy technology on SHIELD's space carrier has obviously fallen behind. There are also problems with propulsion technology. Replace it with the technology on the armor. This thing can be used in the universe. However, Due to historical reasons, if it is built inside the Earth, it can only be used inside the Earth. If you want to fly such a behemoth out of the Earth, the propulsion technology will probably have to be several orders of magnitude more advanced. After thinking about it for a while, Jason slowly came up with a transformation plan. Skynet, how is the full version of the Mars mining base? The basic base construction has been completed, Skynet said sternly. Start construction as soon as possible, expand it and then build the spaceport. Establish a small planet capture system and prepare to build a space carrier. Jason waved his hand and said boldly, although he has no one under his command, you can directly split the subbody into one subbody program to avoid communication delays. After thinking about it, Jason said again, at the end of this year, I need to see the spaceport completed. Make this weapon within two years, especially nuclear weapons, build me hundreds of them, build military-grade centrifuges on Earth and send them over, Jason said to Skynet. The Battle of New York is only a few days away. By the time, the only way is to quickly build an aerospace carrier to join the war. SHIELD's aerospace carrier is mostly used as a communication center, and its combat effectiveness is really poor. He is different. That's when he decided to take the thing to New York. Let the Chiritans feel what it feels like to have a nuclear bomb wipe out the land. Dot.
Chapter 84 Super Double, please order in full, please customize, far away in space, Jason couldn't help but some precious materials, but he can think of a way, although Mars is a planet rich in minerals, however, the smelting and synthesis of materials also takes time, prepare to collect a small amount of precious materials from the earth first, then transport it to Mars, make part of the core of the equipment, Jason has always been a very efficient person, do whatever comes to mind, found Alfred directly, Grandpa Alfred, how much funds can I mobilize now? About five billion dollars. Alfred tilted his head and thought. So little? Jason frowned and said. He didn't spend a lot of money to make the steel armor. Most of the materials are purchased at cost price. In addition, there are not many precious materials used in it. He didn't feel anything at all. Now that he heard that the wealth he could use was only five billion US dollars, Jason was a little dissatisfied. If you throw this money into it, you won't even be able to make a splash. On the contrary, it was Alfred opposite. Hearing Jason's words, his face was speechless, five billion dollars, still too little, many people are not worth so much in their lifetime, on an earth with a population of seven billion, the number of people who can have a net worth of over five billion US dollars is only tens of thousands at most, less than one in a million, if five billion dollars were spent on beef, it could cover the entire New York City, is this much money too little, master, what on earth do you want to do, Alfred said with a headache, nothing, by some materials, Jason said, what materials cost so much, Alfred asked, Jason glanced at Alfred, illiteracy, the most expensive thing in the world, it's not some hyped diamonds or gold, those things in the laboratory are the real value, the most expensive metal available in the world today is Californium 252, the current market price is 10 million US dollars per milligram, he needs at least a few pounds for this thing, not to mention the 10 billion dollars per milligram of Californium 249, it's just that you can't buy this thing at all, according to the information obtained by Skynet, only the amount of less than 1 milligram exists in the Bald Eagle Area 51 laboratory, which they finally researched, not to mention, he needed more than just such a precious metal, many materials can only be synthesized in laboratories, and the prices are very high, and it has a price but no market, so, five billion dollars, really can't even make a splash, scientific research is a waste of money, Bruce Banner is actually a little more powerful than Tony Stark in theory, but it's because he has no money, so we can only do theoretical research, the rich rely on technology, the poor rely on mutation, it's not just talk, thinking of this, Jason also had a headache, after all, the Wayne family does not belong to him alone, there are also some impacts to consider, let's do this, Grandpa Alfred, help me contact some people, the Rothschilds, the Watsons, the Malik's, the King of Wakanda, Jason mentioned a dozen large families in one breath, without exception, they are all families with astonishing financial and material resources in the world, and these families, the head of the family has great national discipline, why did the young master contact them, Alfred asked a little strangely, definitely selling something, a weird smile appeared on Jason's face, Connors recently developed a variant of extremis, completely losing extremis attack power and super regeneration ability, however, it has a certain degree of genetic optimization ability and can restore the activity of the human body. In other words, this thing can extend people's lifespan and rejuvenate them. This thing, selling one of them for 20 billion US dollars is not too much, right? Anyway, the people in these families are very rich. Money is just a number to them. Might as well leave it to him to contribute to protecting the earth. Only, he doesn't charge money. He only charges supplies. The Wayne family is also a very powerful family. It can also be ranked high in the world, so everyone is very considerate. Jason wants to have a video conference with elderly people whose average age is around 70 years old. They accepted it for the sake of the Wayne family. Soon, the video was connected. Countless elderly figures appeared on the screen. When Jason saw these people, a very bright smile appeared on his face. These, but they are all fat sheep. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jason Wayne, I'm honored to have you all here today. As soon as Jason said a few polite words, an old guy couldn't help it anymore. Young man from the Wayne family, if you have anything to say, just tell me. We are very busy. Jason glanced at the old guy, good guy. Oil royal family, no wonder it's so rampant. Let's see if I don't give you a super double later. Although other old people were also a little impatient, they could still endure it for a while. Not like this one. In order not to convene everyone. I will keep my story short. You are all the most powerful people on this planet. I'm afraid that my rights, money and other enjoyments have become a passing thing in your eyes. But I believe that there is one thing that everyone is very interested in. That's longevity. When Jason said this, the old geese in the video all had it in their hearts. The body also sat upright. As the saying goes, the older you get, the more you fear death. When you feel that life is leaving you day by day, that feeling is very scary, especially when huge amounts of wealth and power are in hand. I don't even want to die. The reason why people who belittle life and death can be called great, that's because there are too few such people. They are obviously not this kind of people. Hearing Jason say this, some people were furious. Wayne boy, what do you mean? An old voice also sounded from the side. Jason glanced at the old man. 
The president of the National Bank, the largest conglomerate on Laomozi's side, is the 5.5 Norgrave family. This is a cunning guy. When Laomozi liquidated the government and liquidated the oligarchs, a few people ran away. Among them is this one. Jason's eyes lit up when he looked at him. Although Laomozi doesn't have much money, he has a lot of mines. Lamozi is the country with the most precious minerals in the world. It is so luxurious that the front hall is made of titanium, and the mortar tubes are molybdenum plated. They say Laomozi's stuff is durable and durable. The alloy materials you use are doped with a large amount of precious minerals, and they are also durable. Such rich people must give him a super double. Jason licked his lips. That's right, it's just like everyone imagined. My biological laboratory has developed a drug that can extend life, and there are no side effects. The meeting suddenly became noisy. Dot. Chapter 85, Bartering, Please Order in Full, Please Customize. Among countless legends, many people take risks in pursuit of immortality, especially the elderly who are nearing their end of life. In order to prolong life, I'm afraid I can do anything. At this moment, the video conference is very lively. A group of old guys got into a fight. There were those arguing with each other, those asking Jason questions, and those on the phone. Only a few of them were still calm. It's completely impossible to see that this is the most powerful group of people in the world. Everyone, please be quiet. If you have any questions, please come to me one by one. Miss Elizabeth, you go first. Jason smiled and said. The Elizabeth he was talking about was the Queen of the Eagle Kingdom. This Queen has been on the throne since the last century, has been on the throne for half a century. He is already over 80 years old this year, and his son, the Prince, is over 60 years old. The old man is still alive. They are almost becoming old goblins. And as the royal family of Eagle Kingdom, she is very rich. Since the royal family came to power 200 years ago, it has accumulated wealth for hundreds of years. There is still a lot of wealth hidden in Shadow 25. No one knows. How much money does the royal family of Eagle Country have? This is definitely his premium client. He was also one of the few people who could keep calm just now. Little Jason, is what you just said true? Queen Elizabeth asked in a gentle voice. It looks like there is an extra grandmother, very peaceful. There is absolutely no so-called majesty of a superior. Jason smiled at this. Definitely, definitely true. And this medicine can take effect in a few days, and the effect can be clearly felt. If you don't believe it, Go back and try it yourself. I wouldn't joke about this. It is not a wise choice to offend everyone here at the same time, Jason said calmly. The old people in the video also nodded, although there are only a few dozen people working on it. But it represents the top power in the world. Also sitting were two members of the World Security Council. Offended them at the same time. The Bald Eagle Empire will tremble three times. Not to mention the Wayne family. Although the Wayne family is also an ancient family. If they really unite, the Wayne family can completely collapse in a matter of days. Only Jason would be crazy to do something like this. Tell me, what price do you want to sell this medicine map? A majestic voice spoke. Jason glanced at the person who made the noise. Gideon Malik, Bald Eagle congressman, former presidential advisor, head of the Malik family. This is his apparent identity. He is also secretly one of Hydra's oldest snakeheads. One of the nine established Hydra families. It is also the only family that has been passed down from ancient times. Once Nick Fury knew his identity, he didn't dare to touch him. Even President Bald Eagle can do nothing to him. He is one of the most powerful people in the entire Bald Eagle Empire. No doubt. This is also a great candidate for a super double. Jason sighed. The research and development of this kind of medicine is very difficult. It requires the extraction and purification of tens of thousands of medicines to extract the vitality of heaven and earth. This was then combined with archaeal material collected from deep within the Antarctic ice sheet. Even if we and the Wayne family want to make it, it's very difficult. The yield is very low. Is it normal for the price to be higher? Jason said with very sincere eyes. The heads of the big families present also looked at each other in confusion. Their youngest is several dozen years old. What haven't you seen? How can there be a fool who can do this? Even members of the royal family are human beings. Otherwise, too many royal families would die every year due to various accidents. Why are they alive? Young people like Jason. As soon as he opened his mouth, they knew what Jason wanted to do. It's just more money. Tell me how much you want to sell it for. Gideon Malik spoke. As one of the two World Security Council members present, he naturally has capital. Others had no objections to his opening. No, I don't charge money. Jason said firmly in front of dozens of old people. What I want is various supplies. To people of their status, money is really just a number. Really good things cannot be bought with money. Moreover, money is not that reliable. Coins are originally a social token endorsed by the state. If you look at money, the country can easily play you to death, like the country that was once blown to the sky and fell down by ice. Relying on single-handedly bankrupting the country, it has defrauded countless investors. But people are paying welfare, and maybe they can live better. Therefore, money is very unreliable. Some people can easily steal your assets. In addition, his original intention was not to be short of money. After Jason finished speaking, these people were all whispering. What do you mean? Queen Elizabeth took over and said, in other words, 
I want equal resources in exchange for these potions. I need high-level materials, rare metals, substances, and unique technology. I will provide you with materials with the resources I need marked in them. After hearing Jason's words, everyone present frowned. Words of money. It's easy for them. Together, they can mobilize trillions of funds. But things like resources are much more troublesome. Many things are controlled resources. Most special metals are strategic materials for the country. Countries like bald eagles will not be sold at all. Okay, 527. Gideon Malik said solemnly, for the Malik family, none of this makes any difference. But how do you make sure your potion is effective? We can sign the contract. You can pay after the potion takes effect. Our Wayne family can still guarantee this, and I also believe in everyone's credibility. A bright smile appeared on Jason's face. He hoped these people would default on their debts by the time he can use dozens of armors to collect debts. This way, not even SHIELD can cause trouble for him. This is too ridiculous and I cannot accept it. The crown prince of the oil country yelled in the video. Petroleum countries are not mineral rich countries. The most they have is oil. But Jason doesn't need that much oil. After having the reactor, the role of oil as an energy source is very small. Can only be used as raw material for various synthesis materials. The demand is very small. Therefore, Oil is not on his list of materials. Then I'm sorry, King Abdulaziz. We can only find another opportunity to cooperate. Jason interrupted the complainer directly. He didn't listen to his intention to force Lei Lei at all. Anyway, the technology is in his hands. He can sell it to whomever he wants. As long as most people can buy potions. A small number of people are right. And he doesn't care at all. Dot. Chapter 86 Anonymous Auction. Please order in full. Please customize. Defeat the kings of oil countries who have strong opinions. Jason looked at the remaining people. He looked at these wrongdoers with a kind look on his face. Because it's very difficult to obtain raw materials. We have a very limited number of doses. So the potion may not be available to everyone. How many potions do you have? An old voice asked anxiously. Jason glanced at him. A ducal family in Eagle Kingdom. It has been passed down for a very long time. But among the people here... His wealth and power are not the highest. I heard that the number of potions is limited. Of course he was anxious. A giant like Malik is naturally calm and composed. We now have 5S level potions, 10A level potions, and 22B level potions. Jason looked at the screen next to him and said. Then I looked at the people in the video. There are exactly 50 here. However, he only provided 35 potions. 15 people will definitely not get the medicine. All of a sudden, these people started making noise again. Only a few people with the highest status sit firmly on Dai Oyutai. One is Malik, and the other is also a member of the World Security Council and a head of an ancient family in Western Europe. Plus one of Lao Mozi's oligarchs, Gzinski, and Queen Elizabeth, the King of Wakanda. The remaining one is a man named Zhengxian whose identity Jason doesn't even know. What are the differences between these different levels of potions? The head of the ancient family from Western Europe, Medici, asked. It's definitely a different effect. S-level potions are perfect potions that can theoretically extend lifespan by 50 years. And it can gradually improve the body within half a month. It can be restored to about 20 or 30 years old. It depends on the situation. As soon as Jason finished speaking, the eyes of these people suddenly became intense. Extending lifespan is enough to make them excited. I never thought I could be young again. This means that the value of this potion has increased again. The lifespan of the elderly is different from that of the young. Whether it's enjoyment or quality of life, it's completely different. As people age, their physical fitness gradually deteriorates. Taste, hearing, and vision will all deteriorate. Not to mention more intense sports and multiplayer sports. Able to rejuvenate one's youth. The value of this potion is simply incomparable. Jason ignored them and continued to speak. The effects of the other two potions have been somewhat compromised. Apostrophe. A level medicine can theoretically extend lifespan by at least 30 years. The specific situation depends on each person's physical fitness. The body can recover to the age of 50 or 60. B level potion. Extend the potion for 30 years to make your body healthier. After Jason finished speaking. He looked at everyone with a smile. Different potions, he said. In fact, it is just the concentration of extremis that is different. For body transformation, it is entirely dependent on extremis. Ordinary viruses can reproduce continuously. With just a little, they can multiply indefinitely. But these as potions are different. Fundamentally limits the virus's transcriptional ability. Therefore the number of these viruses is fixed. The effect produced is naturally fixed. Although everyone's physique is different, the effects will also be different. But generally they are the same. Basically it's a matter of price. When Jason said this, everyone in the video cursed secretly. They have seen this kind of routine a lot. It is nothing more than selling a product in several grades. It may even be possible to intentionally dilute the quality of the product to sell more copies. However, they are helpless. Who told them that they don't have this technology? Gideon Malik gave Jason a cold look. Do you want to start the auction? When Jason heard this. 
he smiled exaggeratedly. I didn't expect that Mr. Gideon would give me a very good proposal. We'll just auction it off. Definitely, our anonymous auctions are completely voluntary. If you don't want to participate, I won't force you at all. I hope to have the opportunity to cooperate again. Hearing Jason's shameless words, even Gideon couldn't stand to hear it. He snorted coldly. Others also cursed secretly in their hearts. How shameless. The anonymous quotation system is already. Return ideas that others have put forward. How treacherous. The way in family which has always been known for its kindness. Why did such a thing happen? Jason was not in the mood to care about the inner workings of these people. He spoke directly. Our potions are all priced at 20 billion US dollars. Then the medicines are distributed according to the price. The five highest bidders will get the best medicine map. Then go down the row. Okay, let's get started. Jason said with a smile. Let Skynet open the bidding channel. Hash hurry up everyone. The bidding will end in five minutes. Those who do not bid will be deemed to have automatically abstained. Jason gave a kind reminder. In order to prevent these people from colluding to lower prices, Jason directly limited the time. Hearing what he said, the group cursed again. Despite this, the group of people quickly picked up their mobile phones and contacted each other. Only a few people made bids with confidence. The most confident of them all, not Malik, not a member of the World Security Council. Nor are they just a few people from big countries, and the King of Wakanda. Because there was only one resource on the list Jason gave him, and that was Vibranium. There are also options for technology staking. Jason has been coveting Wakanda's technology and Vibranium for a long time. Now, of course, I would seize the opportunity to rip him off. Anyway, this family is not a good person. Mastered such advanced technology. People in the country still have a tribal system. The weapons turned out to be spears and war beasts. New oh zow zow. As the most technologically advanced country on earth, Jason wanted to say that it was a miracle that Wakanda hadn't been destroyed yet. Let's not mention military strength for now. Isn't it possible to make people's living standards higher? The most technologically advanced country in the world has developed for thousands of years. The people of this country still live in primitive society. Cutting edge technology is only in the hands of one family. They can't promote technology and wealth. How can they not slightly improve people's lives? In the final analysis, it is just to have a group of ignorant people to protect their own notices. You can imagine who this family is. He extorted money without any psychological pressure. Except for the king of Wakanda. The other one is Zheng Xian Fu from. He looks like he is only about 20 or 30 years old. I really don't know why he is here. And he looks like he has a very high status. Gideon seemed very afraid of him. Jason was curious about who this person was. Dot. Chapter 87. Everyone has their own agenda. Please order the full version. Please customize it. Jason's auction was in full swing. What is the most profitable business in the world? Monopoly. As long as you can monopolize something. Wealth is just something within reach. Jason's medicine is a monopoly drug. There are indeed many things in this world that can extend human life. But these things are not easy to get. Usually this kind of thing is either in the hands of super ability people or in the hands of some arrogant scientists. Even if you are as rich as a country, you may not be able to obtain it. If only life extending potions were so easy to obtain. Gideon Malik, one of the leaders of Hydra, would not be so excited. Wait until these people have finished bidding. Jason looked at the numbers displayed on the screen next to him. Okay, now the bidding is over. Thank you for your support. I will show you the quotation. With that said, Jason asked Skynet to send the list. Number one on the list is Gideon Malik. He directly offered a high price of 100 billion US dollars. This made everyone present uproar. Jason was also stunned by Gideon Big Hand at first. The entire net worth of well-known billionaire Tony Stark. I'm afraid it's about the same number. Gideon Malik easily paid such a price. Oh two three I can only say that these big families are really rich. The person in second place was unexpectedly surprised by others, not the richest ones. Instead, it was an old king from the oil country. This old guy is nearly 90 years old. This time, I'm afraid it's going crazy, and it will cost 95 billion. Your Majesty Minimra. I do not accept coins. Our transaction will be settled in supplies. Manumra is the old king of the oil country. Not like the young fellow next to him. The old king sat firmly on the Dai Oyutai. Ahem, no problem. As long as the medicine is effective enough, you will get what you want. That's good. Jason smiled and continued to look down. The third one photographed is the old king of Wakanda. He owns countless vibranium minerals. Definitely one of the richest people on earth. It's just that Jason didn't think of it. The Black Panther family, which owns the heart-shaped grass also needs life-extending drugs. But, think about it. Odin will grow old one day. Not to mention the human Black Panther. The remaining bids were basically over 50 billion. The most powerful people, CFDF, also bid very high prices. In the face of this medicine that can extend people's lifespan, everyone has lost their calmness. There isn't a fool here. They know very well that spending money only costs money. Okay, our auction is over here. Our Wayne family will sign the contract within two days and then send professional personnel to help inject the medicine. Definitely before again. If you want to test, you can also let our professionals take samples. Jason cleared his throat and said, 
These mature guys are very cautious. I'm afraid they won't take them at all until they are sure of the safety of these medicines. But, Jason believes that they only need to test it. There is no way to resist this temptation. He glanced at the beautiful compost pile in front of him. A bright smile appeared on Jason's face. Wait until a few years later. Another crop can be harvested. At least now, he should have enough core materials to build various facilities in outer space. And these people helped him collect valuable materials. Much more relaxed. After telling these people something. Jason closed the communication directly, as for the opinions of those who object, he was ignored directly. I can't buy medicine because I am poor. It is useless to object. Skynet, contact Dr. Connors. Prepare the medicine and let their people go in for the injection. If someone wants to inject themselves, we won't stop them, but do it at your own risk. Also, the base is ready to start construction. Build a smelting factory directly on Mars, and then directly manufacture high-level alloys. Jason issued a series of orders. Skynet document these things. Begin to implement it step by step. As long as the resources are in place, he can build a spaceport in the outer space orbit of Mars. Then build the space carrier. Everything is proceeding slowly according to plan. Time flies. In the blink of an eye, a few days passed. Those top wealthy people are already under the help of the medical team he sent, injected with desperate drug. Definitely they have been inspected very closely as well. After determining the safety of the medicine, they just started injecting medicine. The effect of the medicine should have appeared in the past two days. It's time for him to collect the bill. Correspondence to Gideon Malik, Jason said directly. Mr. Malik, how effective is our medicine? Not bad. Malik looks much younger, because the transformation of pharmaceuticals is a slow process. A few days can only allow his body to recover a little. But that was enough for Malik. Jason was also very happy when he saw Malik's satisfied expression. Then Mr. Malik, can you fulfill your promise? Can. Malik nodded. But the amount of materials you need is too large and it's not easy to collect them all at once. Part of the minerals can be delivered now, and for the other part, how about giving you the mining rights of two rare earth mines? Malik said calmly. Absolutely okay. Jason was overjoyed. Worthy of being a member of the World Security Council. That's the atmosphere. The mining rights of rare earth minerals can be released. You must know that this stuff is completely prohibited from export in the Bald Eagle Empire. Belongs to strategic reserves. In addition, the status of rare earths has become more and more important in recent years and rare earth minerals have become increasingly in demand. Although it is just a mining right, it is completely worth the price. Besides, for him, is there any difference between a mining right for a few years and a permanent one? Unless it is a very large mineral vein. Otherwise, he will be out of stock in a few months. Jason was delighted that Malik had another idea. The mining industry in the Bald Eagle Empire is not easy. Due to the existence of various environmental protection organizations, there is also the need to protect the mineral resources of the Bald Eagle. The bald eagle mining process is very demanding. So much of the mining industry has gone to foreign countries for development. He didn't have any good intentions in giving Jason two mineral veins. Rare earth mining is very cumbersome. It will inevitably cause environmental damage. As long as he uses a little more tricks, Jason's mining efficiency will be much lower. This amounts to paying less. Jason couldn't fault it yet. Just perfect. The two people with their own evil intentions looked at each other and smiled. They seem to be quite acquainted with each other. Dot. Chapter 88, Unexpected Situation, Please Order in Full, Please Order in Full, Something much like a contract, it is still very intimidating in Western society, there are many situations where ordinary people may have signed a contract that is invalid, but the Wayne family is different, the clients who signed contracts with him were quite happy to agree, even if they feel the effect, they will not go back on their word, soon. Wayne Group took over massive resources from all over the world. Several large docks in Gotham City have been chartered by Jason. Made it recently. Bruce Wayne, there is no place for chivalry. I can only go out every day to attend charity balls. Jason didn't care about this cheap dad's mood. He has been very proud of himself recently. Various resources allowed him to use the armor to send him into space. A week later, construction of his spaceport can begin. He has even sent highly concentrated uranium-235 into space. By then, he will have a trident to use. Therefore, this time, Jason got a little carried away and started looking at everyone through his nostrils. Just when Jason was feeling very satisfied and was considering whether to spend some time extravagantly, an unexpected phone call came. Miss Pepper, why did you call me? Jason looked at the woman in the video with some surprise. She is Tony Stark's secretary, housekeeper, stepmother, and half-girlfriend. Pepper Potts. Now her relationship with Tony Stark is not clear yet. It can only be regarded as very ambiguous. They haven't even played a double sport. Although Jason also knows Pepper, he is not very familiar with her, because he was classified as a kind of fox friend by Little Pepper. Pepper has always disliked him very much. He is very strange. Why would Pepper call her? The environment in the video is very noisy. It looks like a KTV. Mr. Jason, Mr. Stark invites you to the party. Pepper said coldly. The expression on his face was like frost. 
very reluctant, body party, what party body, Jason was a little confused, why is he so busy, where is the time for such a thing, ask him yourself, when little Pepper heard this, her face became even more ugly, not even Mr. Stark, this made Jason very curious, you know, before the relationship between two people is clear, Pepper is still very considerate to Tony Stark outside, this time, he didn't even give up any face, and he seemed to be very angry, just when Jason was confused, there was a loud noise in the video opposite, boom, ah, Pepper also let out a scream, then he muttered without listening, crazy, really crazy, what's wrong, Pepper, hey, before Jason could finish speaking, the person on the other end hung up the phone, what is this reflection of, he heard a voice, it really sounds like the plasma beam pulse cannon, Skynet, bring out the surveillance for me, Jason said something, then Skynet projected the video in front of Jason, Jason saw the scene in New York, it's just a chaotic dance of demons, Jason looked at the crazy people in front of him and shook his head, a group of people moved their heads to the music, he couldn't appreciate it, Tony Stark is even more conspicuous in his armor, dancing very hard on it, she looks like a dancing girl, what's the date today, King, Master, New York time, March 13, 2009, Skynet's voice rang in Jason's ears, Jason patted his head in frustration, how did time go by so fast, unexpectedly, he hasn't realized it yet, just half a year has passed, Tony Stark's behavior is also understandable, after such a long time, Tony Stark should have found out, putting a nuclear fusion reactor inside the body is very serious, Tony Stark was only poisoned by palladium, and he was already very skilled general device, Tony Stark's sashes are gone, he was busy with various things during this time, he even forgot to treat Tony Stark, it's very normal for him to let himself go, King of Heaven, prepare the plane, let's go to New York, also, ask Dr. Connors to send over a tube of desperate potion, the reason why Tony Stark lets himself go so much, or because he knew that his life was short, thus, naturally he wanted to do something, do something, maybe. Pepper's decision to become CEO of Stark Group has already been decided, this is already a gesture of leaving a legacy, Jason felt that if he didn't hurry up, Tony Stark might do something even more outrageous, dot please give me flowers, just arranged things, Jason saw new changes in the video, another armor appeared, and he pounced on him and gave Tony Stark a good beating, Jason understood, this should be War Machine Colonel Rhodes, Tony Stark's best friend in the military, he really deserves to be considered a friend, even when people in the military stayed away from Tony Stark, he's still very close to Tony Stark, also joined the Avengers, Jason has also met this person, very interesting guy, it was very normal for Jason to do such a thing, seeing Tony Stark suddenly push Rhodes down and gain the upper hand, a smirk flashed across Jason's face, Skynet, called Tony Stark, he wanted to know if Tony could beat Rhodes if he was distracted now, soon, the call was connected, hey Jason, what's up, Tony Stark on the other side of the phone was out of breath, it seems that he also spent a lot of energy fighting Rhodes, I heard that you want to invite me to the party, why is partying so important, Jason asked, pretending not to know, you'll know this when you get here, Tony Stark replied hastily, then there was a crashing sound from over there, Jason watched the video, Tony was distracted, Rhodes directly caught the floor and was suddenly crushed beneath him, what came just now was Tony's voice of resistance, Jason saw Tony Stark under the upper hand, he spoke again, what the hell, I'm very busy, it's a very important thing, Tony Stark shouted loudly, ha, huh. at the same time, there was a sound of exhalation, Jason chuckled watching the video, it's not easy for Tony Stark to beat Rhodes, people like this are active military personnel, even if it is the first time to control the armor, the combat effectiveness is very high, he beat Tony so hard that he couldn't even lift his head, Tony Stark could only rely on his armor to fight Rhodes back and forth, not a moment, the entire hall was beaten to pieces by these two guys, Jason looked and shook his head, hang up the phone directly, getting ready to go to New York, dot, chapter 89 conversation, please order in full, please customize, New York is definitely one of the busiest cities in the world, this can be seen from the airport, even on weekdays, the airport is also crowded, Jason left from the VIP channel, he sat directly in his Rolls Royce and drove towards Tony Stark's mansion, the location of Tony's mansion is very good, on the edge of a cliff, although it is very desolate, the scenery is absolutely beautiful, you can see the sea when you wake up, it's a pity that Gotham City doesn't have such a good place, otherwise Jason would definitely build one for himself, at the speed of a Rolls Royce, soon he arrived at Tony Stark's mansion, get out of the car, J-A-R-V-I-S, open the door, good morning, Mr. Jason, Mr. Stark is waiting for you downstairs, J-A-R-V-I-S said in a very gentle voice, Tony's villa is very smart, J-A-R-V-I-S 483 can operate most facilities, when Jason arrived at the door, J-A-R-V-I-S opened the door for him, I took a cup of coffee from the coffee machine and headed inside, went downstairs, Jason saw Tony wearing steel armor, he was slumped on the sofa, eating donuts one bite at a time, you really love your armor, 
You still wear it at home. Jason took a nice sip of coffee. Stand in front of huge amounts of floor-to-ceiling windows and enjoy the seaside scenery. He didn't care at all about Tony who looked depressed. Tony Stark looked up at Jason and swallowed the donut in his mouth. I will wear this until I die. Tony Stark replied. Jason glanced back at Tony Stark. I don't know if it's because of psychological effects. Jason always felt that Tony Stark had a sallow complexion and sunken eyes. I don't know if it's due to poisoning or kidney deficiency. It seems you will get what you want soon. A. Eh? You don't look good right now. Jason took another sip of coffee and said. Did you see it? Tony Stark was a little silent. Definitely. I am another person in this world who has mastered the arc reactor. I know the consequences of putting this thing on your chest. Jason said with a relaxed look on Tony's face. You do know. The expression on Tony Stark's face was somewhat relieved. But I'm curious. Why don't you take out the shrapnel from your body? Jason asked curiously. The success rate is too low. Tony Stark looked a little disappointed. If you want to continue being Iron Man, you won't get poisoned. The only way was to remove the shrapnel from his body, or develop a new non-toxic reactive element. However, he had no clue about the second one, the first. He was not very satisfied with the answers given to him by most medical establishments around the world. Shrapnel from the bomb had entered his body's arteries. If you want to have surgery, the difficulty is very high. Death is possible at any time. He wasn't willing to gamble on the possibility. When Jason heard Tony Stark say this, he understood. In the original world trajectory, a few years later, a doctor from Japan removed the shrapnel from Tony's chest. That doctor still exists. But, it's not certain whether medical skills will be great after a few years. The development of medical treatment is also very rapid. Maybe one paper can change the entire medical industry. In addition, surgical instruments a few years from now will not be comparable to those available now. Tony Stark's surgery will certainly be successful. Now, the success rate is really not certain. You only started to give up on yourself when you knew you were going to die soon. Even starting to prepare what to do with your wealth, Jason asked looking at Tony Stark. Just now, Skynet reminded him. At the moment the CEO of Stark Group is Pepper Potts. Plus what happened yesterday? Colonel Rhodes drove away the armor so easily. Is it possible without Tony Stark's approval? Although JARVIS is not as good as his Skynet. But it is also one of the best artificial intelligence in the world. Tony if not secretly allowed. It is impossible for Rhodes to drive away the armor. He couldn't even turn on the energy. I'm afraid this is also the reason why the military in Hulai has not reformed. Even if the armor is created, it is useless without matching software. Like a fighter jet without a fire control system, its combat effectiveness can only return to that of World War II. Faced with Jason's question, Tony was noncommittal. I wonder what you left for me, Jason said curiously. Tony Stark said, while eating donuts, some technical information. You are richer than me, so you shouldn't need money. Speaking, Tony Stark was also a little jealous. The Wayne family is so rich, he has seen Jason's armor inventory. The number must be in the thousands. As for him, he only had less than a hundred pieces. This is the naked wealth gap. But soon, Tony Stark laughed to himself. He was going to die anyway. So there was nothing to be jealous of. Of course Jason didn't know what was going on in Tony Stark's mind. He was in a daze when he heard Tony Stark's words. Unexpectedly, Tony Stark actually prepared something for him. Technical information. This is probably more valuable than the Stark group. Tony Stark is a guy who knows a lot. There are also a lot of technologies in hand. What a treasure. Being able to give him this thing shows that Tony Stark really regards him as a friend. This made Jason a little touched. It seems I have made the right friend. It's just that I'm afraid I won't be able to match your inheritance. Jason said with a shrug. How? Huh? You shouldn't be poisoned by palladium right? Your skin should be able to block this thing. Tony Stark looked at Jason solemnly. According to his calculations, only when the reactor is inside the body can the palladium element enter the body. Causes palladium poisoning. Logically speaking, Jason shouldn't. Could it be that there is something wrong with his reactor? Don't think about 0.0. .0. Jason looked at Tony Stark's expression and knew what this guy was thinking. Then what do you mean? Tony Stark ignored the depression and spoke directly. There is definitely a way to save you. I really don't know why you gave up so easily without thinking of a way. You're Tony Stark. It's better to teach yourself medical skills than to wait to die, Jason said, while complaining. Here, take off your armor. What do you want to do? Although Tony Stark didn't know what Jason was going to do, but he didn't think Jason would harm him. He obediently took off his armor. Jason took a closer look at Tony Stark's neck. There are already some blue and black lines on it. No wonder this guy never took off his armor. Dot. Chapter 90 Treatment, Please Order in Full. Please customize. Jason carries a suitcase with him. This is a portable medical freezer. The temperature can be maintained within a certain range. Jason uses it to preserve the desperate potion. Open the box. A burst of cold air came out. A tube of crystal yellow potion lay quietly inside the box. Tony Stark was immediately alert. What do you want to do? I'm definitely here to treat you. Jason dug Tony Stark off the couch in one fell swoop. 
He picked up the potion and stabbed it into Tony's neck. Shit. Tony Stark let out a cry of surprise and tried to struggle. It's just that his strength is not as strong as Jason's. Jason held him down next to the sofa with one hand, waiting for the injection of the medicine. Tony Stark felt a warmth flow into his neck. Suddenly he became frightened. What did you inject me with? Jason shook his head helplessly. It's definitely the potion, or Iron Man. He's so cowardly. Jason gave Tony Stark a look of disdain. Tony Stark suddenly stopped talking. People can die. Don't lose face. The vial of medicine was quickly injected. Jason pulled out the syringe and put it into the box. Okay, how about you feel it for 25? Tony Stark stood up from the sofa, touching his neck. You should have asked my opinion. What's your opinion? Besides being pretentious, what else would you do? Jason rolled his eyes at Tony Stark. What Tony Stark is best at is being a dead duck. He is a person who is obsessed with saving face and suffering. Even if you know you are wrong, in order to save his face, he would not admit it. There was no way Jason would give him this pretentious opportunity. How do you feel now? It should be taking effect. Jason paused and looked at his watch. Really? Why don't I feel it? Tony Stark said so. But he still hurried to the mirror. Just took off my clothes. At the moment, the black lines on his chest had disappeared. The skin also returned to its normal color. Even his face looks much better. Tony Stark looked in disbelief. How can this be? Tony Stark muttered. How is it impossible? Palladium is not a highly toxic element. There are many things that can neutralize this toxicity. However, don't be happy too early. The lasting effect of this potion is limited. Jason reminded him. The desperate potion is indeed very powerful. But things are different with Tony Stark. As long as the reactor in his chest is still there. Sooner or later he will be poisoned. The effectiveness of these desperate potions will eventually be exhausted. When Tony Stark heard this, he was stunned for a moment. Then he said, This is already very good. I haven't thought about that. Jason looked at Tony Stark's expression and sighed inwardly. It's okay to know the day of my death. The really cold and terrifying thing is that you can die at any time every day, and you don't know when you will die. That sense of unknown is the most uncomfortable. Tony, haven't you considered changing the reaction raw material? Jason changed the subject. I have tried. But there is no element on earth that meets my requirements. Tony Stark shook his head in frustration. He is not a person who gives up easily. As early as after discovering that he was poisoned, he started experimenting. It is not that there are no other raw materials on earth capable of nuclear fusion, but other elements more toxic than palladium, like uranium-235 for fission. The power can indeed be increased, but the radiation is much greater than that of palladium. More toxic. What he lacks is the ability to undergo fission. There are no new elements of toxins yet. Jason looked at the expression on Tony Stark's face and understood. Indeed, there is no such element on Earth. That element that Tony Stark created, it is an element that Howard Stark discovered through studying the Tesseract. Otherwise even Tony Stark, it is impossible to research this element. Even in the universe, reactors equipped with this new element are top-notch energy sources. Ahem, Tony. Do you believe me? Jason coughed and said. What do you want to do? Tony Stark was immediately alert. What do you mean? I won't harm you. Jason said with a speechless expression. Ha ha, I thought the same thing last time, but I ended up being pinned down on the sofa and given an injection. Tony Stark sneered. Jason was speechless when he heard this. Cheapskate. He was clearly trying to save him just now. This bastard still doesn't appreciate it. I mean it. If you want to live, Jason repeated. Tell me something, Tony Stark said with doubt. Jason was too lazy to talk nonsense. Speaking directly to Tony Stark, in these two days, a black one-eyed man with an eye patch will come looking for you. When the time comes, he will give you something. There is a solution to your current problem. But when the time comes, don't tell that bastard that I said this. Otherwise I'll be in trouble. When Tony Stark heard Jason's words, his face was full of questions. Jason. I'm not a fool, you don't have to tease me. Do you think I would believe it? Jason was speechless. How come no one believes the truth? What he said was true. Why doesn't Tony Stark believe it? Well, you really shouldn't believe it. Jason felt that this happened to him. He definitely doesn't believe it. 533, even if it is the truth. In desperation, Jason could only say, just accept my request. It won't take much time on your part. At worst, if you're going to die, I'm going to give you a shot. Tony Stark glanced at Jason, seeing his eyes full of sincerity. Tony Stark finally nodded. Okay, I'll believe you again. Jason rolled his eyes, but I breathed a sigh of relief in my heart. In fact, he has that new element of technology in his hands. If he gave it to Tony Stark now, maybe you can get more gratitude. However, for Tony Stark, it's not the best. Tony Stark has had several regrets in his life. The sudden death of his parents was one of them. The sudden death of Howard Stark. He and Tony Stark never had a chance to repair their relationship. In Tony's memory, his father seemed to have left him only cold memories. But this time, he obtained the image data left to him by his father. He just began to understand his father. The whole person has also grown a lot. Jason didn't want Tony to lose this rare opportunity for tenderness in his life. Therefore, he chose not to give Tony the information directly. Let him find the answer for himself. This is what a friend should do. Dot.
Chapter 91 Ivan Vank. Please order the full version. Please customize it. Tony Stark still trusts Jason, knowing that he should not harm him in this kind of thing. Most importantly, Tony Stark knows Jason also has this potion. Don't worry about dying at all. Therefore, when Jason saw Tony Stark again, he took his words into his heart. I left here with peace of mind. As a homebody, I finally went out and took medicine for the first time. Naturally, he wanted to take a good stroll. As everyone knows, New York is the most prosperous city in the entire Bald Eagle Empire. There are countless people living here. There are also a lot of superheroes and supervillains. Jason wasted his time walking around New York, just to see if I can meet any villains or superheroes. Maybe there will be some unexpected gains. There are a lot of villains in New York. What Dr. Octopus, Green Goblin, Vulture, etc. Plus Spider-Man, Fantastic Four and other superheroes. He might meet one when he goes out. Then get some benefits. So ride in your own Rolls Royce. Jason wandered around the streets of New York. He checked into all the famous places in New York such as Fifth Avenue, Avenue of Stars, Hollywood, etc. But what made him depressed was, New York is usually a crime-ridden city. It seems to be a peaceful time now. He has been around for such a long time. No criminal activity was seen at all. To know, he has even been to slums like Brooklyn. This is a gathering area for black people, homeless people, drug addicts, and gangs. He didn't come across any criminal activities. This made Jason very depressed. Skynet, plan a route and prepare to leave. Jason said helplessly. Let Skynet announce the route to the driver in front. After body strengthening, the hundreds of bodyguards around him have temporarily retired. He was accompanied only by a driver. Just as Jason was getting ready to go to the airport. When I headed back home directly, Skynet's voice rang. Master. Someone is following us. Oh? Jason suddenly became energetic. Let me see who he is. Jason said hastily. Skynet hit the image behind him on the screen. Behind him was a medium-sized truck. It looks shabby. It is no different from the trucks used to transport goods on ordinary farms. Are you sure it's this car that's following us? Jason asked suspiciously. Yes. This car has been following us since we came out of Stark's place. And there were attempts to target us. It's just that it didn't break through the firewall. Hearing this. Jason curled his lips, it can't even break through Skynet's outer firewall, so it's not a big shot at all. But now that he has met him, he will play with this guy. Ask the driver to go out of the city and find a secluded place. Although New York City is also very prosperous outside. But after all, there are still many farms. Exactly. The Wayne family has property here. Hundreds of acres of chassis. If you bury a body, even the gods may not be able to find it. It's only half an hour's drive. Jason arrived at his manor. Dismiss the driver and the farmers in the manor. Jason was holding a suitcase and waiting for the broken car to arrive. Soon, Jason saw the dilapidated medium-sized truck staggering over. Saw Jason standing. There seemed to be something unexpected about that car. But soon, the car accelerated over without any hesitation. The estate's sturdy wooden fence couldn't stop the car. F.K. Cursing. Jason quickly moved away. The suitcase in hand is placed on the ground rapidly shape-shifting. Soon the armor was on his body. Then Jason waited to see who it was. I waited for a long time in boredom. The car then responded. Stab. There was the sound of a hot knife cutting through butter. The tattered medium-sized truck was cut in half. A man came out of it. At two meters tall. He is a head taller than Jason. What a strong figure. Makes him look like a bear standing up. Especially the two whips beside him that emit electric light. Extraordinarily conspicuous. The grass on the ground was directly burned and the surrounding area smelled like the aftermath of a thunderstorm. The stench of ionized air. Jason narrowed his eyes. It didn't take long to figure out who this man was. Whip Ivan Vank. Lao Mosey's scientist. His father was once a collaborator of Howard Stark. Just at that time, Lao Mosey's scientists are not welcome in Bald Eagle. This old man is not honest. Want to make a fortune by studying the Tesseract. Howard Stark, who still had a good conscience, did not kill him directly. Instead, he was banished back. He gave birth to this Ivan Vanko. Jason was curious. Why did he appear here? And it looks like he spent a lot of time squatting near Tony Stark's house. Jason's thinking time. Ivan Vank came over, swinging an electric whip. Did not think of. In addition to Tony Stark, there is actually a thief who stole our family's property. Ivan Vank's hoarse and magnetic voice rang out. What? Your family's property? Jason was shocked. Is there anything on him that doesn't belong to the Wayne family? Is this villain's brain so strange? Come up and slander him. Don't talk nonsense, I didn't. How can you taint someone's innocence out of thin air? Jason hid under his helmet and rolled his eyes. Stop making excuses. You are just as much a thief as the Stark family. It was you who stole our family's research results. That's why I became like this. Ivan Vanko said a few words. 
The toothpick in Hanan's mouth spat out on the ground. Jason was speechless when he saw his fierce look. The reasons why this family is like this are very complicated. The biggest reason, killing Zhao, is that Lao Mozi's economy is not good. The second reason is spy surveillance. When the former Mozi Red Federation disintegrated, countless oligarchs were busy making money for themselves. Countless state wealth and talent have been lost. Most of them fell into the hands of the bald eagle. A small part remains in other countries. There is still a small part left in Mozi country. Vank is even worse. It was the bald eagle that kept him and released him. This kind of treatment is even worse. There are a lot of stupid scientists. There is no need for such one at all. This resulted in their poverty and poverty. It can be said that there is no reason of their own. No fool would believe it. One of the world's top nuclear physicists and engineering masters. He could only survive by repairing home appliances. It can only be said that they fail too much. Don't say anything else. Just find a way to get rid of those spies and go to hell. You will definitely get high treatment. Their poverty is entirely self-inflicted. Chapter 92 Reactor Overload. Please order the full version. Please customize it. Ivan Vanko is not a person who likes to talk. After accusing Jason a few words at the beginning, he attacked directly. The electric whip in his hand kept scattering sparks, and he threw it directly at Jason. Jason turned sideways and dodged the blow. The electric whip hit the ground, leaving a black mark. A flash of surprise flashed in Jason's eyes. I didn't expect it to be quite powerful. Really, something that can easily cut through iron sheets a few millimeters thick is indeed quite powerful. Ignore Jason's surprise. Ivan Vanko attacked again. A whip followed by whip. Jason, on the other hand, fought hard and kept avoiding. The fighting ability shown by Ivan Vanko is pretty good. At least, it's okay to hit Tony Stark. But for him, it's just too slow. No matter how good the weapon is, it also requires the help of someone who can use it. In Jason's eyes, Ivan Vanko's movements seem to be in slow motion. The only reason he hasn't killed this guy yet. I just want to find out the limits of the weapon in front of me. Then take a look. To what extent did he bring about the butterfly effect of 810? According to the world line of the original world, Ivan Vank should be working at Hanmo Industry. At the moment, fooling around with that fool of Hanmo Industry. Jason was still in the mood to think blindly. But Ivan Vanko has reached his limit. The expression on his face also became a little depressed. Jason's calm and playful expression made Ivan Vank particularly annoyed. His childhood life was extremely unfortunate, making him extra sensitive to other people's eyes. At the moment Jason's gaze made him very angry. Couldn't help but speak. Don't you know how to fight someone head on? Can you only hide? Yeah, that's right, Jason said very shamelessly. He is very relaxed now not even a little stressed. There was even time to make fun of Ivan Vank. Watch Jason dance in the sparks caused by the electric whip. The body almost moved away from the electric whip. It's like dancing on a sword. Even more angry. The expression on Jason's face was very relaxed. The sturdy armor on his body is as if it doesn't exist. Ivan Vanko looked at the scene. The expression on his face became even more distorted. That's too much. Originally, this was intended for Tony Stark. Now let your father feel it. As he spoke, Ivan Vank patted his mouth. The arc reactor on his chest emits a strong electric current. The electric whip device on the upper body turned red visibly to the naked eye. Jason even saw that the skin on Ivan Vank's upper body was burned. A burnt smell filled the air. The two hands held electric whips, and their shapes also changed. The blue and white electric current has some red in it. The range of electric current is directly doubled. A whip came a few meters away from the tip of the electric whip. There are iron currents flying past. The iron sparks emitted from it are also lethal. Jason saw this scene. His eyes were full of appreciation. You are indeed an outstanding scientist, and you can actually overload the output power of the arc reactor. There is also this high temperature iron weapon, which does have merit. There is a reason why Jason admires Ivan Vanko so much. What is arc reactor? That's nuclear fusion. Even if it's cold fusion, it's still nuclear fusion, except for the reactor. Another place where nuclear fusion is used is in the hydrogen bomb. From this, we can see the horror of the energy contained in the arc reactor. In steady state, the safety of arc reactor is very high, but suddenly changes the power delivery. It is equivalent to instantly intensifying the internal nuclear fusion process. If it gets lost, it will really be a hydrogen bomb. Being able to do this is worthy of Jason's praise. Hearing Jason's words, Ivan Vank became even more angry. Kfdi. Don't look so disgusting. Go to hell. Tony Stark is lucky, you die in his place. After saying that, Ivanko attacked directly. Two red electric whips emitted blazing plasma currents. The falling iron sparks directly left a charred mark on the ground. Even the speed of waving the electric whip became faster. Jason's dodge became a little difficult. Good, but you seem to have forgotten one thing. That is, I can fly. With that said, Jason stood up directly. Fly to an altitude of about 20 meters. Ivan Vank's expression froze and he was startled. Can you still play like this? Ivan Vank looked around and saw that the ground was full of green grass. Stop talking about people. There are only a few houses. The only living creatures were a few cows shivering in the distance. But he didn't think so. Jason would come down and fight with him for these cows. You coward. 
You have the guts to come down and fight me head on. Jason, who was flying in the sky, looked at Ivan Vank below. He rolled his eyes disdainfully. He is not stupid, how could he go down? Wouldn't it be good to wait for him to run out of energy in the sky? Moreover, Ivan Vanko is no ordinary person. He's a madman. Can do anything. When he ambushed Tony, a lot of ordinary people have been killed. Several racers were basically dead. Why could Tony only fight him on the ground? Because Ivan Vanko has a hostage in his hands. As Iron Man, he could not let Ivan Vanko kill people randomly. Jason has no such concerns. He had no intention of going down to fight Ivan One. Who knows what else this madman can do? What if you plan to die with him? Wouldn't it be a shame for him to die? Slowly wait for the energy of his equipment to drain out. Is he uncomfortable? Staying in the sky. He felt that he could still watch movies and watch short videos. Completely playing Ivan Vank to applause. Ivan Vank underneath is not a fool either. It didn't take long for him to realize something was wrong. The light in the reactor on his chest had begun to dim. The power output is simply not worth the money. In addition, the constant waving of the electric whip also consumed his physical strength constantly. If it continues, he will definitely die, struggling again. After discovering that his electric whip did not pose any threat to Jason, Ivan Vanko stopped. Why did you stop? Jason reluctantly looked away from the video. Ivan Vank raised his head and looked at Jason. We have no real conflict, right? You want to kill me? But now you say there is no conflict between us? Jason said somewhat ridiculously. Yes, I want to kill you. But now it failed. I want to live. Ivan Vank said very bachelorly. Dot. Chapter 93, Nuclear Explosion. Please order the full version. Please customize it. There is a conspiracy. This was Jason's first reaction when he heard Ivan Vank's words. Ivan Vank is not a person who is afraid of death. Whether it was the first attack on Tony Stark or the attack on the Stark Expo, Ivan Vanko appears to be a desperado. During the second time, he even installed a self-destruct device on his armor. The purpose is to die together with Tony Stark after failure. It can be said, for Ivan Vanko, there are things that are more important than life. For example, dignity and revenge. Now Ivan Vanko inexplicably wants to surrender. If there is no conspiracy in it, Jason dug his eyeballs out and stomped them on. However, the strong strength makes Jason full of confidence. You want to live? That's right. Ivan Vanko nodded. The hands holding the electric whip relaxed immediately. It was as if he really gave up resistance. Give me a reason not to kill you. Jason noticed the small movement in Ivan Vank's hand. He sneered in his heart. I heard Jason ask without seeming to be moved at all. Ivan Vank's heart skipped a beat, but there was no change in color on his face. Just say it directly. I'm useful. Although I don't have a PhD, I have enough knowledge. I'm good at many things. I can work for you. Jason was a little tempted at first. I just thought that Ivan Vank was a wild man. The thought of subduing him faded away. Ivan Vank may have profound knowledge in a certain field, but compared to people with the same educational level, he's not even the slightest bit worse. Why do outstanding talents study in good universities? It's not just about academic qualifications. But you are in a top university. It is completely different from doing scientific research on your own. The knowledge they came into contact with and the people they met. Not on the same level at all. Compared to Tony Stark, Ivan Van can only be regarded as a civilian at best. Wanting this kind of person can only lower the average level of his subordinates. But on the surface, Jason looked thoughtful. That's not something that can't be considered. Your scientific research capabilities are pretty good. But, how can you guarantee that you won't cause trouble for me? You can put restrictions on my freedom. Ivan Vank added calmly. Jason pretended to think about it again. This is okay. However, I must first place restrictions on you. Can. Ivan Vanko didn't even blink. Take off your armor and take off the reactor on your chest. Ivan Vanko has no hesitation. He took off his half-body armor and threw it on the ground. Due to the high temperature, the metal on the armor and Ivan Vank's skin were directly stuck together. Take off the armor. Ivan Vank's whole body was covered in blood. The tattoos on my body have also become defective. And Ivan Vanko didn't even blink. Jason looked at Ivan Vanko. I sighed in my heart. He is a ruthless person. Will such a person surrender? He didn't believe it. And he has already seen Ivan Vank's backhand. It is indeed a means of dying together. This guy Ivan Vanko probably really modified the arc reactor. Now this thing explodes. Due to reactive substances. Probably not as powerful as the atomic bomb. But the power is not comparable to that of ordinary bombs. Probably comparable to the power of a small aerial bomb. If his body hasn't strengthened yet, it's really not certain whether it can withstand such an explosion. Thinking about it, Jason doesn't talk nonsense either. He raised his hand and blasted out with an ionizing cannon. The high temperature plasma flow completely destroyed the reactor on the ground in one fell swoop. Ivan Vank's face turned ugly. Mr. Ivan Vanko, although I look young. I am not stupid. You don't look like someone who values life. You've already seen it. Ivan Vank asked in a deep voice. Definitely. Jason spoke. Then why don't you kill me? Ivan Vanko asked back. Jason rolled his eyes. She looked at him like an idiot. It's definitely to save energy. What if you, die with me from the beginning? If Ivan Vanko detonates the reactor without saying a word, he's really in trouble. At the very least, 
No land within a thousand miles radius can be claimed. New York City could be affected. It can save energy. Why doesn't he save energy? He felt that Ivan Vanko was really a bit naive. He he he. That's it. Dot dot dot. Please give me flowers. Ivan Vanko let out a burst of laughter, and then spoke. It turns out you also have something to be afraid of. I can rest assured that. A smile appeared on Ivan Vank's face. What are you worried about? Jason was still a little confused. The inside of his armor suddenly turned red. Dozens of warning lights rang and the entire Rana was filled with alarm sounds. Target energy surge detected. Please evacuate immediately. Please evacuate immediately. Implement the first set of protection plans. Main engine. Start. Skynet's sanctious voice sounded. Then the main propulsion engines at the feet of the armor suddenly came together. Huge amounts of tail flames shot out. Jason shot straight into the sky. He had only been gone for a few seconds. A blazing light lit up underground. It's like a miniature sun rising from the ground. Even through the isolation eyepiece of the suit, Jason felt his eyes burning. The retinas are somewhat burned. Fortunately, his body's recovery ability was very strong and he recovered quickly. Jason regained his sight again. Then he looked to the ground. It was already a mess. The turf within a kilometer radius was blown away by the airwaves. Farms built on the ground only have a foundation left. The cows grazing in the distance. It turned directly into a piece of black coke. F.K. Madman. Jason cursed harshly. This guy Ivan Vanko. He even built a reactor inside his own body. Just to die together. What a madman. And this is suburban New York. He actually detonated a nuclear weapon. A small nuclear explosion was triggered. The mushroom cloud that was produced just now is at least tens of meters high. In the center of the nuclear explosion. A large crater several hundred meters deep and tens of meters deep appeared. The soil underground has been completely crystallized, like melted porcelain. When Jason saw this big hole, his scalp went numb. Fortunately, the surrounding area is all his family's land. People also left. There were no casualties. What if this scene happened in New York City? It was scary for Jason to think about it. This attack will probably kill tens of thousands of people. Subsequent radiation will also cause ongoing damage. If this happens, the bald eagle will become the second country in the world to be planted with mushrooms. Dot. Chapter 94 Nuclear Explosion Please order the full version. Please customize it. Technology is a very magical thing. Palladium is just an ordinary metal. It can even be used in jewelry without any toxicity. But it is such a harmless substance. After nuclear fusion, the explosion that occurred was so terrifying. In that moment, Ivan Vanko is equivalent to creating a sun on the earth. The explosion temperature of the core can even reach tens of millions of degrees. Several times the temperature of the sun's core. The soil, rocks and other materials on the earth's surface are tens of meters thick and more than a hundred meters wide. Directly vaporized. It may sound like this number is not that exaggerated. But if all the soil is dug out, it can cover two meters on a playground. This shows how amazing the power of this explosion was. In the video recorded by Skynet, it's almost white. Only in the cameras in New York far away at 673 can we get the first clues. Look over there, there seems to be a second sun in the sky here. Then came the mushroom clouds of huge amounts. Fortunately, the high-rise buildings in New York are very tall. Many people cannot see this mushroom cloud, plus Skynet's interception. Many people don't see these things. At most, I just heard a loud noise, and then saw the sky here light up. It didn't cause much panic. But Jason knew. The trouble certainly doesn't end there. Soon, someone will notice this. Professionals will be here shortly. I scolded Ivan Vank severely in my heart. Skynet. Keep an eye on the development of things. Seal the clues. Also, how is the radiation level? Is it exceeding the standard? Ten times more than the standard. But the decay rate is very fast, and it has returned to normal levels a few hundred meters away. And it's still slowly declining. Skynet's serious voice sounded. Hearing this, Jason breathed a sigh of relief. Although the radiation in the core area is high. But it's still acceptable. It's just ten times more than the standard. The amount of radiation from nuclear power plants is higher than this. Totally acceptable. It doesn't matter at all as long as you don't stay here for a long time. He can even stand here without any protection. It might even feel a little comfortable. The real trouble is other things. For example, how to explain this. Skynet. Strictly block technical information. External videos cannot be leaked. Try to contain the spread of news as much as possible. Jason said as he rubbed his head with a headache. Send a construction team to encircle a two-kilometer radius around the area and prohibit others from entering. Detect radiation near New York. If it exceeds the standard, I will be notified promptly. Jason had a headache as he issued a series of commands, in order to reduce the impact of this matter. To be honest, this thing really got out. The trouble is big. Some idiots in New York City may even think that aliens have invaded the Earth. Even more hateful. These idiots might even come out to stage some kind of demonstration. He was not surprised at all to hold a party to welcome aliens. For the intelligence of the bald eagle lower class people, he had no expectations at all. It shouldn't be that bad. Jason comforted himself mentally. Master. A car is coming. Skynet promptly reminded. Jason looked at the video provided by Skynet. His face suddenly turned dark. If it was a police car, 
he would be a little happier now. The Bald Eagle police officers would not dare to mess with people like him. All he had to say was, they would even go out of their way to help him maintain order. But the same cannot be said for these people in black cars, especially when there is a big silver white car following behind. Damn it, I knew this group of people would come back to cause trouble, Jason said helplessly. New York is S-H-I-E-L-D's home base. If they couldn't even detect such a big movement, Nick Fury could kill himself. Through the drone released, Jason stared at the group. After they finished loading the rice, they stopped. Then from the silver white cart behind, two people wearing lead protective suits got off. It took a long time to test and go up. Then the convoy began to move slowly. Do this every few hundred meters. Jason almost vomited just looking at it. How long will it take until they come? Skynet. Give them a message and ask them to come quickly, Jason said helplessly. They have to face each other sooner or later anyway. It doesn't matter if it's early or late. Jason didn't mind either. Soon, after receiving news from Jason, the convoy hesitated for a moment. It split into two halves and slowly drove over. Waited for a while. A black car drove over. Jason took off his armor and stepped forward. The black car stopped in front of Jason. Several people wearing black suits and headsets walked down. The hairline of the head is a bit far back. Looks very mature. Hello Mr. Jason. I am the King's Strategic Defense Attack and Logistics Support Bureau. Jason was not surprised that the people from SHIELD knew his identity. Such a large organization. It's so easy to investigate who this place belongs to and what he looks like. He would be surprised if the investigation couldn't find out. He interrupted him directly. Okay. Phil Coulson agent of SHIELD. I know who you are. What brings you here? Jason interrupted Phil Coulson and asked in a very aggressive tone. Phil Coulson wasn't angry either. He said gently, Sir, we are here to investigate what happened here. What's going on? Is this unclear? Have you never seen a nuclear explosion? Jason said with a sneer. Nuclear explosion? After hearing this, Several agents were confused for a moment. All eyes turned to the silver white car behind. They didn't calm down until the two people in protective suits nodded. Phil Coulson looked back at Jason. Mr. Jason, this joke is not funny. Joke. The quality of SHIELD's agents is so low now. Don't you know that the power of a nuclear explosion is closely related to the yield of a nuclear weapon of 0.5? I now have some doubts about whether so much of our Wayne group's money every year has been embezzled by you, Jason said coldly. That's right. The Wayne family is the largest wealthy family in the country. Promoter of various charitable enterprises. A gathering place for a family of good people. Naturally there is investment in SHIELD every year. Moreover, it is a special fund amounting to tens of billions of dollars every year. Such activities have been going on for nearly a hundred years. The Wayne family is so rich. This is also one of his confidence to face SHIELD. Phil Coulson must have been told this too. Even a behemoth like SHIELD can only grovel when facing its sponsors. Guess this is why Phil Coulson appears in this is, instead of Black Widow and Hawkeye. Phil Coulson has a gentle smile on his face. Mr. Jason, it doesn't have to be like this. We can have a good talk. Chapter 95 New Technology, please order in full. Please customize. The organization SHIELD, very complicated. Although on the surface it is an organization established by the World Security Council, under the direct responsibility of the World Security Council. But secretly, what the World Security Council can master in SHIELD only accounts for one ten thousandth of SHIELD. The others are composed of Hydra people, Nick Fury's men and forces from other organizations. This is a behemoth. Jason doesn't want to mess with these people yet, so he decided to hit it directly. There's nothing to talk about. USHIELD asked me, and I still want to ask you. What do USHIELD do for food? This is the suburbs of New York, in my family's estate. After something like this happened, USHIELD still have the nerve to ask me? Jason said with an angry look on his face. Mom sells batches. Phil Coulson is a very gentle man. Generally not angry. But after Jason beat him up, he still couldn't help but cursed in his mind that Mom was selling batches. Mr. Jason, we haven't investigated yet. It is not certain what caused this incident, Phil Coulson said with a smile on his face. He gave Jason a direct look. That obviously means talking about it later. I'm a little bit clueless. So I may not be sure who did this. Don't make it too ugly for everyone. Jason didn't appreciate it at all. No need to investigate. I know who did it. Ivan Vanko, Mosey and physicist. I want to understand why you let such a dangerous person enter the country. USHIELD need to give me an explanation. Jason said. As he spoke, Jason took out his cell phone. Show him the video. The video shows the scene where Ivan Vanko exploded. Although the screen appears a bit blurry due to huge amounts of white light. But Ivan Vanko's expression can still be distinguished. Phil Coulson suddenly looked serious. Mr. Jason, are you sure this is true? What do you think? Jason asked rhetorically. If something like this happens, 
USHIELD must give me an explanation. How is your review done? Isn't your SHIELD called the shield? Do you know how much tax our Wayne group pays every year? Jason's series of questions overwhelmed Phil Coulson. Hear his last words. Phil Coulson cursed inwardly. Wayne group paid a lot of taxes. But the tax evaded is even greater. Every year, the battle of wits between Wayne group and the IRS is very fierce. You actually have the nerve to say that now? But on the surface. He still wants to give face to big benefactors like the Wayne family. Put on an extremely serious expression. Mr. Jason, don't worry. If what you say is true, we will investigate this matter seriously. I'll give you an explanation. But can we investigate here now? Phil Coulson didn't blink and just opened his mouth to tell lies. Definitely. You can investigate as you please. But I have to leave first. My car is here to pick me up. Remember to inform me if there are any results. Otherwise, I will cancel your SHIELD funding this year. Jason said something. He got directly into the Rolls Royce that came to pick him up. Left gracefully. Leave Phil Coulson and a bunch of SHIELD agents here to check it out. He wasn't worried about what SHIELD would find out. After the nuclear explosion, I'm afraid there's nothing left. Let them detect the radiation left behind. Leave Phil Coulson alone. Jason got in the car and was about to leave New York. He felt at odds with New York. Last time I came. Last time I saw Hal wrestling on the street in New York. This time, someone came to the door again and died together. It's really inconsistent with his destiny. It's better to stay away. Just when Jason was contacting the private jet, the system's beep sounded in his mind. Get in touch with the plot characters. Technology extraction in progress. Due to sensor authority, you can choose one of the following three techniques. Micro heavy gas cooled fusion reactor. Strong electric current plasma confinement device. X-23 unmanned combat mecha. Jason raised his eyebrows when he saw these technologies. Hey, heavy tritium reactor. A flash of surprise flashed across Jason's face. He thought that Ivan Vanko's arc reactor was exactly the same as Tony Stark's. Unexpectedly, there is something different. The cow fuel is actually different. Think about it too. Lao Mosey's side still has more silly, big black and thick things. It is also very normal to use something as violent as heavy tritium. No wonder it can emit such powerful energy. This is the raw material for hydrogen bombs. But there's nothing surprising about this. There is no high technical content in it. Even to some extent. The technical content is even lower. Jason had no interest in this at all. As for unmanned robots, that's even more rubbish. A mass-produced model produced by Hummer Industries. Killed by Tony Stark and Reddy. It's just spicy chicken. Something that really interests Jason. It's an electric whip. It can be said that this is the most valuable technology in the hands of Ivan Vank. The confined high-temperature plasma has properties similar to fluids. Has powerful destructive power. Although the attack range is a bit short. But it's just right for his armor. The steel armor really has no shortage of long-range attack methods. Because Tony Stark himself is not good at melee combat. Therefore, there are no melee weapons developed on Steel Armor 710. Most of them rely on the fire control system to carry out long-range attacks. This is for Jason. It's a little inappropriate. Jason has stronger physical fitness and faster reaction ability. Plus, he learned a lot of fighting skills from Bruce Wayne. A melee weapon would be very useful to him. It doesn't matter if he doesn't know how to use a whip. What swords, guns, clubs, halberds, axes, hooks and forks, as long as he knows how to use it, coupled with the high temperature and powerful cutting ability brought by high temperature plasma, the power of the weapon will increase to a great extent, plasma cutting blades and the like are very powerful, might and lights are inside the hand of a Jedi Knight, shape shifting a glowing weapon inside Vajra, almost, for him, it is something that can make up for his shortcomings, system, select the second technology, transfer technical data, after being stunned for a moment, Jason returned to normal. The technical information was already in his mind. See a detailed introduction to this technology. A flash of excitement flashed across Jason's face. This technique is stronger than he imagined. In theory, as long as the power is strong enough, there is nothing that cannot be cut. Simply the perfect melee weapon. He couldn't help but go to his laboratory to reproduce this technology. Dot. Chapter 96. The Legacy of Howard Stark. Please order the full version. Please customize it. When Jason was anxious to develop his own technology, Tony Stark is also busy doing something. Before, Jason told him. There's a one-eyed black man who can solve his problems. He is contacting this black man now. There is one thing. He didn't tell Nick Fury. That is, he actually knows the one-eyed black man, Nick Fury. Long after he revealed his identity, Nick Fury, who calls himself S.H.I.E.L.D. Director comes to visit, and invited him to join the Avengers project, only, he has no intention of participating in this plan, he prefers to work alone, now let him contact Nick Fury and make him feel a little embarrassed, but for the sake of my own life, Tony Stark could only reluctantly inform Nick Fury, I don't know when this guy will come, Tony Stark got out of the car and muttered, Nick Fury this guy, it's really elusive, he didn't know when this guy would show up, if you can't wait for this guy, he could only wait a few more days, thinking about things in his mind, Uni Stark was inevitably a little worried. When entering the house, 
I didn't pay attention to the surrounding environment. Stark, you're not doing well right now. A deep voice came to mind from the side. Ah, Tony Stark trembled with fear. After taking a closer look, I saw Nick Fury in the shadows. Don't you know how to say hello before you enter someone's house? Also, why are you always so elusive? Tony Stark said angrily, just to keep it a mystery. Nick Fury said noncommittally. Tony Stark rolled his eyes at him. J-A-R-V-I-S. Don't let this guy in next time. Nick Fury is unfazed by Tony Stark's petulant behavior. Ask directly. What do you want from me? I'm very busy. Tony Stark, you need to know that the world does not revolve around you. Nick Fury stared at Tony Stark with one of his eyes. Because there is only one eye. He needs extra effort to see. Looks very intimidating. This. When things came to a close, Tony Stark was suddenly at a loss for words. He has never asked anyone else in his life. Now, I suddenly want to ask others for help. He was a little speechless, so he spoke a little vaguely. Something's not right with me lately. Nick Fury's eyes widened when he heard this. Ha. Ah, I didn't expect that the famous Tony Stark would also ask for help. Asking for help? I don't have one. Tony Stark said angrily. Whatever you want to say. Nick Fury was noncommittal. But your condition is not that easy to treat. You can Fury stared at Tony Stark. However, we have temporary relief. As he spoke. Nick Fury pushed out a small box. This is lithium dioxide, which will relieve what's happening to you. Jason looked at the small box in front of him. The expression on his face was a little embarrassed. If Jason didn't help him before, he really needed this very much. But it's completely unnecessary now. He just tested it. The concentration of palladium toxin in his blood dropped to a very low level. There is no need to worry about this issue for the time being. What he needs is something that could completely resolve the poison in him. There was a slightly embarrassed expression on his face. Tony Stark said. Well, actually I need something else. Tony Stark doesn't know what Nick Fury has in his hands. It's a bit vague. Nick Fury's expression changed, and he looked at Tony Stark with one eye. Then he spoke. Having said that, your current condition is much better than before. Jason Wayne did it, Nick Fury said with certainty. Tony Stark remained silent. Nick Fury said this, which means he is certain. There was no need for him to deny it. Nick Fury looked at his expression and felt confident. It seems the Wayne family knows more than I thought. Jason Wayne told you that, too. Tony Stark remained silent. It's not that he doesn't want to deny it. However, he felt that denying it now might not be useful. Nick Fury saw the expression on Tony Stark's face change, stared at him for a long time. Then he said it. How about this? Tomorrow morning, I will come again and I will naturally give you what you need. Finished. Nick Fury shook off his windbreaker and turned around to leave. The next day, Nick Fury arrived as expected. This time he didn't come by himself. Behind him, also followed by several SHIELD agents. They were carrying two silver white metal devices. This is what you want. Nick Fury pointed to these boxes and said, What is this? Tony Stark asked strangely. No matter how he looked at it, he didn't think this thing was something that could solve his problems. Nick Fury did not answer him directly, but spoke. How well do you know your father? Stern, indifferent and only sees work. To him, I seem to be a superfluous thing. Tony Stark shrugged his shoulders and said, Why are you asking this? Tony Stark frowned and said, Nick Fury looked at him. This is what your father left you. He stored these in S-H-I-E-L-D. Now, these things belong to you. Nick Fury pointed to the two boxes and said to Tony Stark, Why are my father's things with you? Money is good, Tony Stark asked doubtfully. Oh Tony. You have to know that your relationship with SHIELD is more complicated than you think. Nick Fury did not answer this question directly. In fact, Howard Stark is one of the founders of SHIELD. These things are so normal in their hands. Think about it. Nick Fury added again. Also, your father is nothing much like your daughter-in-law. You don't know him well enough. Seeing Tony Stark wanted to ask questions. Nick Fury spoke. Don't ask. Everything you want is in these things. You go find the answer yourself. After saying that. Nick Fury turned around and left without any hesitation. Tony Stark was left alone, staring at the boxes. Half a day later, Tony muttered to himself, OK Dad, let me see what you left for me. Chapter 97 New Elements, please order in full, please customize. For Tony Stark, father seems to be a very distant term. As early as his teenage years, his father had already passed away. The person who has been taking care of him is actually their butler J.A.R.V.I.S. In his memory, Howard Stark always seemed harsh and cold to him. Most of the time, he was focused on work. He rarely shows any concern for him. Even now, all he could remember was Howard Stark's various requests for him. Now, he suddenly received something from his father. Tony Stark felt a little uncomfortable. I can't tell what I feel in my heart. Open the box. The first thing Tony Stark saw was a blue blueprint. After unfolding, pictured above is a Generation Arc reactor. Co-signed by Anton Vank and Howard Stark. After taking one look, Tony Stark put the thing down. Below is a newspaper clipping reporting the defection of Soviet scientists. 
The remaining things are some photos and notes. There are also some other small items. They should be daily necessities that his father used at that time. Taking up the largest proportion are some films. Film. This ancient thing has long been eliminated by 310, and now most theaters have begun to use digital projection equipment. But this thing but it was the only thing that could record images in Howard Stark's time. Caress the uneven surface of the tape. An inexplicable and strange thought appeared in his heart. I wonder how his further felt when he recorded the videotape. Shaked his head. Tony Stark shook his unrealistic thoughts out of his mind. Got out the videotape placed on top of the projector. At the same time, he picked up a book of notes. It records his further's research on Tesseract. The content here. Even now he looks very inspired. He couldn't imagine it in that era. How his further came up with these things. When Tony Stark is thinking about something, the tape has started playing. His father's voice came from the projector. Everything can be achieved through technology. Better life, healthier body, and the possibility of maintaining world peace for the first time in human history. I'm Howard Stark. Everything you want in the future, Kfd, can be found here. Future City, tomorrow's capital. Future City, Tony. What are you doing there? There was a sound coming from the projector. Tony Stark looked up. He appears in the video as a child. While recording the video, Howard Stark picked up something from the Expo model. He remembered this model the city of the future that his father had built. It is still kept in his office. Although Howard Stark's tone in the picture is very serious, but Tony Stark felt a sense of warmth at this moment. A few clicks on a touch screen phone, the image on the projector transformed again. Howard Stark seems a little nervous in the picture. Are you waiting for me? On behalf of the whole company, I want to show you my ass. Didn't we finish filming? This job is so ridiculous. Tony Stark watched every move of Howard Stark in the screen. Don't know why. He thought of himself. He does not know. It turns out that when he was young, his father was the same as him. He flipped through his notes unconsciously in his hand. I quickly reached the end. There are several figures drawn on the last page, but the next page is blank. Apparently I don't know why. His father's research could not be continued. Throw down the notes. Tony Stark touched his forehead. I took a sip of coke and prepared to relax. But as soon as he was distracted, a voice came from the projector. Tony, you are still young and cannot understand it yet. Dot so. I'll take this part for you first. This is all made for you. One day you will understand that all this represents more than just human inventions. He's also my life's achievement. This is the key to the future. I'm limited by this era. But one day, you'll understand it all. That's when you'll change the world. My greatest creation. It's always just you. The scene ends here. The white curtain is constantly billowing in the picture. Tony Stark's mind went blank. He didn't expect that. In his impression. He was a very cold and serious father. Would say something like this. He always felt that his father didn't like him. It never occurred to him. His father kept his lifelong achievements to himself. Thinking about the future city model in my memory. Tony Stark felt like he was in another world. He finally knew. Why are both Jason and Nick Fury so sure that he has no problem? Because his father had already given him the solution to his problems. Think of this. Tony Stark no longer hesitation. Get up directly. Prepare to drive to your office to pick up the model. Driving a sports car. Tony Stark quickly arrived at the company. To express my apologies to Pepper, he even bought a box of strawberries on the way. But he forgot, Pepper is allergic to strawberries. Therefore, his apology undoubtedly failed. Fortunately, he still got back the model his further left him. Went home with these things. Tony Stark put the model together. J-A-R-V-I-S. Please make a digital model. I need an operable projection interface. A light blue beam swept across the entire model. Sir. Stark Industry Fair 1974. How many buildings are there in total? Including build and waffle stand. I'm just asking show it to me. Tony Stark turned the model in midair. Then think, what does this look like? It's kind of like an atom. The nucleus should be here. Tony Stark looked at the center of the projection. Highlight the big globe. Tony Stark crossed his arms and thought. Take off the walkway and throw it all away. What do you want to achieve? I wanted to correct, not discover a new element. Place bushes, walkways, parking lots, entrances exits. Throw it all away. With the removal of J-A-R-V-I-S, the model is becoming clearer. Using the pavilion structure as a frame to form the proton and tail, J-A-R-V-I-S constructed the model. Tony Stark waved his hand. Structures like stars appeared in midair. Sir, congratulations on discovering a new element. Tony Stark's eyes were full of surprise. Dot. Chapter 98 Plasma Cutting Weapon. Please order the full version. Please customize it, Tony Stark thing. Of course Jason doesn't know, even if you know it. He didn't have time to think about these things either. He is busy with his own business now. He wants to build the new technical equipment he has obtained. The electric whip in the hand of Ivan Vanko. It's a bit inappropriate to call it an electric whip. It actually belongs to a kind of plasma cutting weapon. In a universal sense, plasma weapons are more commonly used to describe plasma jet weapons. It is more similar to a laser but uses high temperature plasma flow for lethality, although plasma cutting weapons are a type of plasma weapons, but the gap between the two is very big, it utilizes a high temperature plasma arc, molten material is produced within a few milliseconds, producing amazing cutting power, 
but the technical difficulty is very high. The biggest difficulty, that's how to create and control high temperature plasmas. Ivan Vanko studies this aspect. Jason read the information carefully. Then he said to Skynet, Skynet, have the items I ordered been delivered? Master, the special titanium alloy and type 243 aviation special grade steel you need are already in place. The micron sized graphene wires you ordered are already in place. Very good, then we can start. Jason nodded with satisfaction. Skynet. Create a new serial number and name it Plasma Weapon. Are the created sequences still saved in your private server? That's right. Jason nodded, waiting in the laboratory for the Skynet control machinery to bring in the equipment he needs. Master, how do you plan to control high temperature plasma? Use electric current, Jason said succinctly. At the same time, I felt a little surprised. Why would Skynet ask such a question? Skynet's intelligence is very high, but generally he gets the information he needs more online. I don't interact with people most of the time. Now I have learned to ask questions proactively. Is this another evolution? Keep your questions deep in your heart, Jason continued. Plasma is also called plasma. It is a gaseous fluid substance formed by the collection of positive and negative ions produced by ionization after some electrons are deprived of atoms and atomic groups, because it is composed of positive and negative ions. So plasma can be affected by magnetism. At this stage, the best way for humans to control plasma is magnetic confinement. But master, the magnetic restraint device shouldn't be used on weapons, right? Skynet asked. Jason's eyes flashed with appreciation. Skynet's power level has indeed improved. Everyone has learned to praise them. Then he explained patiently. That's right. The magnetic restraint device is very easy to use. But there are also huge amounts of disadvantages. That is, the device that generates the magnetic field is very large, and the magnetism is difficult to control. The magnetic field where you can find the plasma is very strong. It will react strongly with surrounding metals, Jason smiled and said. This is also one of the reasons why plasma weapons are currently difficult to implement. Take his armor as an example. The magnetic field that binds the plasma reacts with the alloy on his armor, directly attached to his armor. It would be very embarrassing if the weapon cannot be pulled out when it is needed, and magnetic fields also have serious effects on electronic equipment. Carry huge amounts of magnetic fields with you. Can the electronic devices on his body still work? By then communication with Skynet will be a problem. Then how did you solve it? Skynet asked impatiently. Although Skynet knows many of his secrets, it cannot see the system. Therefore, it will only feel that these technologies were developed by Jason. Jason replied, the solution is to use electric current. Plasma is originally a type of positive and negative ions. The essence of electric current is the free movement of free electrons. These charged particles also have their own properties. The charged particles will combine with various ions to form atoms. So electric current is attractive to plasmas. The graphene wire I ordered is used to conduct electric current. Most of the wires used by humans are made of copper. But actually, the most conductive metal is silver. Because of its high price, this type of wire is only used in a few places. For example, military products, high-level chips, etc. use silver wires but artificially synthesized graphene. Its electrical conductivity can reach dozens of times that of silver. This new material with excellent performance. Dot please give me flowers. It can only be made in a few laboratories. The price is also very high. At the same time, the conductivity is also very good, which can fully meet his requirements. So Jason chose this material directly. The electric current generated by graphene wires can produce discharge phenomena in the air. It can even be observed with the naked eye. It is capable of very good high temperature plasma generation of phase combinations, thereby constraining the plasma and preventing it from escaping, thus achieving the purpose of weaponization. Jason explained to Skynet very patiently. Skynet is like a child who is thirsty for knowledge. Listen patiently to Jason's explanation. I understand that it is the mutual attraction process of positive and negative ions. Skynet spoke. But how is plasma generated? Jason said with a glint in his eyes. This involves the core of this plasma weapon. Inside the weapon, we will build a high-pressure plasma tube. The interior is filled with helium, under high pressure reaching thousands of volts at both ends. Helium ionizes very easily. Then a large amount of high-temperature plasma flow is generated. When the high-temperature plasma flow comes into contact with the air, the charges on it will cause secondary ionization of the air. In this way, even the consumption of helium is very small. It lasts a very long time. It can be said that plasma weapons are already a very perfect weapon, Jason said with a smile. The data has been recorded. The technology is really amazing. Skynet let out a rare sigh. Master, I still have a question. How is the weapon originally supposed to withstand the high temperatures of the plasma? When Jason heard this question, his eyes were full of smiles. This is also a technical point of plasma weapons. The temperature of the plasma is very high. The temperature in a nuclear reactor can even reach hundreds of millions of degrees Celsius, which is several times higher than that of the sun and the heart. Normal metals are at this temperature. It will be vaporized directly. Then any weapons are useless. So how to make the weapon withstand this amazing high temperature? Without melting, 
it is a very complicated problem. More importantly, this heat cannot yet threaten the user. The difficulty of this is very high. Dot. Chapter 99 Skynet evolves again. Please order the full version. Please customize it. The transfer of heat requires a process. According to the second law of thermodynamics, heat always conducts from high places to low places. This process. There are three main ways. Radiation, conduction, convection. Radiative heat transfer is just like the conduction of heat from the sun to the earth. The energy is converted into various photons and passed on. Conduction is the transfer of heat through matter. Heat conducts after direct contact between objects. This is what happens when your skin touches something and feels a hot spot. Convection heat transfer is air heat transfer. Wind is the biggest side effect of convection. These three methods of heat conduction take time. Like the conduction of heat from the sun to the earth. It takes just over eight minutes. The heat transfer of plasma cutting weapons also takes time. It's just that this time is very short. In order to explain 690 to Skynet, Jason spoke again. It takes time for high temperature plasma to be transmitted to the metal on the weapon. Although it only lasts a few microseconds, it can be ignored at all. But after all, it takes time. It's this time difference that we take advantage of. Through these few microseconds, we perform two methods. One is heat isolation and the other is heat dissipation. Jason paused. The method used on plasma weapons is similar to that used on nuclear reactors, except for cold fusion. When normal thermonuclear fusion undergoes a cataclysmic reaction, a lot of heat will be emitted. The temperature there is also very high, and it is said that it can vaporize various metals instantly. So why do such accidents rarely happen? The first is that the reaction time of high temperature plasma is very short. The reaction is complete before there is any heat transfer. Heat conducts very slowly. On the other hand, that is, the high temperature plasma is still a certain distance from the outer wall of the reactor and does not make direct contact. The same goes for plasma weapons. First of all, under the constraints of electric current, high temperature plasma is actually isolated from the weapon body. Secondly, there is also a very thin layer of polypropylene carbon fiber on the outside of the titanium alloy body. The thermal insulation is very good. In addition, titanium alloy originally conducts heat very well, able to dissipate most of the heat. So close access to plasma weapons is very important, Jason said patiently. Plasma cutting weapons, because part of the thermal imaging is actually external. There is very little internal heat. With a variety of measures and the special original material, it is possible to maintain its properties at high temperatures. Actually, the best insulation thing in the world is space. The thermal insulation coefficient is very high. Unfortunately, the size of the weapon is too small to create a vacuum environment in it. Can only use insulation materials to barely isolate. Fortunately, the thermal insulation performance of nanopolypropylene carbon fiber is also very superior. Totally acceptable. It's just that compared to the traditional cold soldiers, plasma cutting weapons definitely have a shorter service life. In the case of frequent fighting, it may take a year or two to get revenge. This price is completely acceptable to Jason. After Jason finished explaining, Skynet fell silent again. As if accepting this information, Jason's eyes flashed with relief. Skynet's intelligence has indeed begun to grow slowly. For an artificial intelligence, this is a very difficult thing. The wisdom of artificial intelligence and the wisdom of human beings are ultimately different, or the world that artificial intelligence comes into contact with is different from ours. We humans touch the world. It depends on our vision. Hearing and touch can be processed by the brain into various acceptable information. But artificial intelligence only comes into contact with cold numbers. These numbers are composed of zeros and ones. For artificial intelligence, get information from these numbers. Then improve your intelligence. It is a very difficult thing. That's why Jason felt particularly gratified. The technology provided by the system is indeed powerful. Ultron artificial intelligence does have huge amounts of potential. Both JARVIS and Ultron, based on their basic core can evolve into normal zones and still be a superhero. In his opinion, Skynet also has such potential. It can eventually develop into a higher level artificial intelligence similar to the supreme intelligence of the Kree people. Therefore, Jason did not hesitate to teach Skynet at all. Whether it is humans or artificial intelligence, their growth process. In fact, it is a learning process. The more you know, the faster you grow. The more information you obtain, the more critical it is to the formation of personality. Skynet, except for these things, you should record more traditional literature. Trying to understand its content will help you grow. Jason coughed and said, even artificial intelligence, you also need to study. In the future, I might be able to do some reading comprehension and so on. Let me mention the comprehensive thinking ability. Master, I understand. I will pay more attention to this aspect. Skynet's voice sounded again. I don't know if it's Jason's illusion. I always feel that there is a little more emotion in Synthesis's voice. Shaked his head. Jason thought, it's best to have emotional fluctuations, which shows that Skynet's ability has continued to evolve. Okay Skynet. Let's start the assembly work. A theory is just a theory after all. Practice is the only criterion for testing truth. Jason spoke a few words. No matter how good it is in theory, as long as this thing can't be built, 
it's just talk on paper, and this is what makes the system so powerful. He not only has various theoretical techniques, various production techniques are also included, even how a certain part is produced is clear, there is even various test data. This thing, as long as he is a person with normal IQ, you can always build this thing by following the system prompts, it's just that sometimes there is a possibility of failure. After all, this kind of high technology can reach the nanometer level at every turn. It's so easy to go wrong. Like nanoscale polypropylene insulation fibers, they are carbon nanotubes at the nanometer level. The manufacturing process of these carbon nanotubes is very complex. The C60 atoms need to be arranged in order. It is also necessary to maintain the atomic structure from collapse. This is a very difficult thing to do. There is electrostatic repulsion between atoms. It's like it's difficult to piece together broken items. This is the repulsive force between atoms at work. Want to form nanocarbon fiber tubes? Customers need to overcome this repulsion. Combine carbon atoms. Operations are all at the nanometer level. Very high precision is required. Even machines can fail. Therefore, it is very difficult to fully understand these technologies and be able to produce them. Chapter 100, Testing the Knife. Please order the full version. Please customize it. Jason's Private Factory. The degree of automation is very high. All kinds of machinery are controlled by Skynet himself. Except for a few core parts. Except that it must be made in the laboratory. Other parts can be made in the factory. After the upgraded production line, the entire weapon process can be produced in the factory. One can be produced in a few hours. This is the charm of industrialization. It only takes a few days to arm an army. When the time comes, he will directly set this thing as the standard equipment of the steel armor, then load it with powerful enough modern vitality equipment. It can definitely recreate the torrent of steel that Lao Mosey used to have. It's time for the New York War. He directly chased the Kirita Stars Lair and beat them. Ivan Vanko can convert cold fusion equipment into small nuclear weapons. There is nothing he can't do. At that time, even Thanos is sitting at the door of the Cosmic Passage. He rushed forward with hundreds of self-destructing steel armors, and Thanos also wanted to numb his claws. He laughed twice obscenely. Jason looked at the plasma-cutting weapon in front of him. 26 This is a Tang straight knife about one meter long. Liu Dian of the Tang Dynasty records that there are four types of swords and there are many ritual barriers. Fix knives are one of the prettiest. Mo Dao is the most powerful among them. The traditional Tuki of Fuso Kingdom was also influenced by the straight sword of the Tang Dynasty, but more of it was inherited from the Southern and Northern Dynasties. The knife in Jason's hand is completely the most traditional fixed knife style. The slender blade is made of high-strength titanium alloy, which is stronger than high-strength carbon steel. And both heat dissipation and toughness are better. Even without plasma equipment, it was a magical weapon in ancient times. There are two slender blood grooves on both sides of the blade. In fact, there is a channel for plasma. Just start it. The high-temperature plasma will wrap the entire blade from the blood tank. Although this style of knife has long been eliminated by the ancient military, because it is not easy to use when dealing with nomads. But for Jason, it had no impact at all. Just be handsome and that's it. He danced two sword flowers casually and flicked them twice. Jason activated the weapon. A buzzer sounded. A light blue electric light covered the entire blade. Make this knife more handsome. In fact, this blue light is not electric current. It's high temperature plasma, because part of the air is ionized. So it's this light blue color. Skynet, bring up the experimental weapons. Jason spoke. A suggested robot produced three half meter high pieces of metal right in front of him. One piece is high strength carbon steel. The other piece is high hardness tungsten steel, which is often used as a drill bit to drill through high hardness rocks. Another piece is zirconium trioxide. A compound harder than diamond. Jason was the first to start experimenting with carbon steel. Cut it down with one knife. The metal was split in half by him like melted butter. Jason didn't even feel any lag. This can be called the real cutting of iron into clay. Jason took the knife and looked at it, wanting to touch it, but even after retracting his hand. Otherwise, he might become the first man in history to be crippled by his own sword. Although you can't touch it. But this sword is definitely a magic weapon. In ancient times, it was an artifact. You know, good as smelting technology is very underdeveloped, because the temperature is not enough, the result is very cold. It may be a magical weapon in ancient legends, not as sharp as the vegetables you buy at the market. But this is normal. Thousands of years of technological development. If the weapons of modern people are not as good as those of ancient people, then all modern people should die. Jason is not like those businessmen who will brag about anything to sell knives. He has absolute confidence in his weapons. Get these things out of your mind. Jason started experimenting again. Jason tries to chop tungsten steel again. There is a slight lag, and then it is cut directly. Jason nodded. Tungsten metal is the metal with the highest melting point in the world. It requires a temperature of more than 3000 degrees Celsius to melt. Tungsten steel an alloy steel, has high hardness. But there was still nothing that could stop his long sword. But think about it. Ivan Vanko and Tony Stark fight. The surface of his armor was destroyed. If it weren't for the armor's original thermal insulation performance, it would be a very powerful weapon. In addition, 
Ivan Vank's technology is not good enough. Tony Stark's sashes are now being raised. Jason's plasma cutting weapon is now stronger. One knife could cut Tony Stark's armor in half. The overall performance of titanium alloy is more superior than that of tungsten steel. But in terms of hardness, tungsten steel can outperform titanium alloys. After thinking for a while, Jason raised the knife again, targeted the last material. It is said to be the strongest material that humans can synthesize, zirconium trioxide. The hardness is several times that of diamond. Jason definitely knew this was bragging. Many laboratories have materials that are stronger than this thing, but it only needs to be harder than tungsten steel. Jace took a breath and slashed with his sword. The metal made a soft squeaking sound and then broke. Jason nodded with satisfaction. I don't know if the materials of vibranium and adamantium can resist my knife. When the materials for Wakanda arrive, I will definitely give it a try, Jason muttered. There are two kinds of unreasonable materials in this universe. One is vibranium from the universe in Wakanda, and the other is a bald eagle scientist due to an accident. Research adamantium. Captain America's shield uses the original adamantium. It is an alloy formed by adding vibranium and unknown elements to steel. Possessing extremely high strength, enough raw adamantium could even survive a nuclear explosion. The inside of Wolverine's body is true adamantium. Unlike the original adamantium, this material is a super metal developed by military scientists. There is no vibranium added to it. The cost is very high and the performance is very strong. Almost as strong as Captain America's shield. The hardness and penetration can be exceeded. Theoretically, it can penetrate any metal on the earth. Jason didn't know if his combat power could cut through these three materials. Master, according to the information I found, adamantium should not be able to withstand such an attack. Skynet's voice rang at the right time. According to the top secret information I found in the military. The melting point of adamantium is around 4000 degrees Celsius. You can't just calculate it based on the melting point. No data found for vibranium. Any speculation without samples is imprecise. Whether these alloys can withstand plasma weapons is still unknown. Jason spoke. The vibranium has not been delivered yet. Adamantium is a top secret material for the military. Even Skynet couldn't find its formula. It was always in the paper database. Jason couldn't find the sample either. So I can't experiment for the time being, which is a pity. Dot. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. And join my Patreon if you want to support me, link in the description. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.